And I'm he's a robot. I'm pushing all magic. my live buttons as well. I'm about to say, I'm pretty sure a robot makes me the opposite of magic, but... Magic. <laughs> magic robot. I have magic. <laughs> To be fair, magic. I break the laws of physics very regularly. Well, magic. yeah, it kind of depends on how you look at it. I mean, if it's a, yeah, you know how how uh, how uh, um you know uh, uh magical is is the area. Like I said, low fantasy, high fantasy, high, high magical. Fantasy. Yeah. Vegas. Well, when I when I quad double in size and become big robot, I'm pretty sure that breaks a lot of physics. Yeah. No. I, I mean, overall, uh. You know, science is magic in general. Yeah. So, at least for me, my and my belief, it's all magic. Hey. Well, hello everybody. <laughs> we are live, and uh, yeah, we're just getting uh, set up. Uh, Ayanis is setting up her stream, but then we'll be good to go. Yep. 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 Are you ducky now? Always. I have been since I was very small. <laughs> um, it is Indotorius in chat is saying that Warforged are just enchanted constructs, uh, which counts as a uh, magic robot. I agree with that. I agree as well. That's well. real technical. Is that real technical? I feel like it's just mildly technical. It's pretty. It's pretty simplified mm. answer compared to what they could have said. <laughs> Listen here. <laughs> compared to D and D terms of what they could have described, it's pretty pretty simplified. Yeah. <laughs> Listen here. All right. I guess. I guess the real question is: is the bearded bard and like stream element spot are those are those warforged? Don't ask me questions. Uh, I, I wasn't <laughs> asking you a question. I was asking the general <laughs> they that exist the world. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, technically, technically they are. Forged. Forged for war against the uh, having to do things manually. I had a fourth grade teacher that was pretty confident was either a robot or an alien. I had a physics professor in college that I was 100% certain <laughs> was CP3O. I constantly... No. I constantly a very specific robot. <laughs> yeah, stared at stared into her he, eyes trying to trying to figure it out. Are you? Are you he was a he was an one? older British man who oh, looked well. exactly like CP three O if he had fake skin. <laughs> <laughs> he even walked like him. Oh, I know about that. <laughs> I'm just certain he was. He did not like me. I couldn't imagine why. I'll give you 20 reasons, but. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, are we are we good to go, Ionis? Have you uh, done all your things? Yeah. All right. Well, we are live then, and we are going to be playing some D&D. &D. Uh, it's been a bit. Been a bit. It's been a while. Yeah, schedules and <laughs> all that stuff and. But uh, yes, uh, today we are heading back into Sedan. We are. Oh, I don't have the Sedan map active. Let me let me let me do that real quick. We see no map currently. You should see uh, well a screen. I mean, it's a technical map. Yeah, well, map. very amounts. Your thumbnail. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, it was it was the con. This is what I wanted. Um, yes, so uh, we are heading uh, back into uh, Sedan, which is our southern hub uh, on the continent, and um, the party that we are with is going to be heading back into the burial mounds. Now, the burial mounds um, were something that were discovered um, by happenstance. Uh, party just kind of stumbled over them. 
searching for survivors. I blame the camel. Yeah. Yeah, there was a camel that kind of pointed uh, the party into uh, the right direction. Uh, but yes, uh, there were quite a bit of burial mounds that were seen. Well, actually, it was one. One mound, and then just looking over the landscape, realizing, hey, there could be like 50 of these things around around in this area. So uh, Records Guild has uh, hired the Adventurers, uh, the Adventurers Guild, to uh, explore and unseal and locate and uh clear out any bad guys from from this general region this party they uh had uh, had been doing such things and had opened up a uh, secret passage uh, by way of uh, fancy base reliefs in the one of the sarcophaguses that they they had opened up and um they yeah, were able to turn, I believe, a, a skeleton of some kind to uh, open up a door which led to a stairway, which then led to a uh, complex underneath. And um, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, uh, it seems to have been active. And um, there they had located a uh, transportation. Or I said it again. Uh what is it? Teleportation circle. Transportation, yeah. Can't confirm. <laughs> it's one form. I do that every time, and I'll, I'll get over it. Um, Just like how Draco is magically enchanted construct. Yeah. I'm a dog. Yeah. Uh, teleportation circle, uh, which seemed to have been recently active, um, as well as a, uh, a construct. Uh, the Warforged-like construct that they had uh, seen before, which was carrying bodies. Um, it seemed to have been inactive. Um, just kind of chilling, maybe in Sentry's Rest. And they attacked it and uh, uh, destroyed it. They took it out. And then they headed back into town. Rest. And then return. So, uh, before we begin, let's uh, go ahead and introduce ourselves. Uh, first of all, we have Sunbears. Hello, I'm Sunbear. I am playing Draco, the Warforged Artificer. Looks like a Drake. His job in life is to defeat anything that looks like him, namely a Drake, and him basically help out and protect the citizens of the continent. And next up is Salix. Hello, hello, peoples of the interwebs. It's the lunatic back again, Salixing his way into D and D. Um, I'm playing Salix, a, a Warforged? Question mark? Maybe a tree spirit? He's he's had a bit of a bonk to the noggin. He's not certain what he is, and uh, he kind of wants to figure that out. Um, so yes, Loon, we've got Loon. Uh, Ayandis, say hello. Hello, I'm Ayandis. I play Moira, the half-elf Mark of the Storm Sorcerer, who loves all things rain and lightning and sailing galore. And I also love money and running from all my problems, so, yeah. Sounds very accurate. Uh, and Baxilla. Hi, uh, I'm playing Spawn, a... Furbolg Circle of Spores Druid, who has a love for the natural order of things, especially the circle of life and death, which um, results in a fascination for mushrooms. Um, and uh, she's kind of an intriguing character who's very blunt and will ask you, what in the heck are you? And what are you doing here? And do you want a mushroom? And do you want a mushroom? I have mushrooms. Always want a mushroom. <laughs> they make you seek big crabs. Yeah, and Shinichi flying. Yep. Yep. All right, so now, uh, last time, uh, it was the four of you plus uh, Shinichi, played by Spider Hearts. Uh, Shinichi got pulled into uh, the uh, captain's office 
and reassigned to uh, another oh. another thing, another another project. Um, that's going to take him away from uh, what you guys are doing. But my question for you is, uh, again, last time uh, you guys were together, uh, you had used up a lot of resources and we're heading back to Sudan to rest up. Um, what is the schedule? How soon are you heading back? Uh well, since we've gone back to Sedun, I assume we've had a long rest since then. That is accurate. Yep. So my question is, do we want to trek out the next day? Do we want to spend the day trying to get stuff and then go back or? Um, I don't really know what all we would need per se. Um, I don't, I don't it was really just need... spell slots that we ran out of and, and yeah. stuff we more just... than actual items. Yeah, we just yeah. got tired and beat up, really. I know um, my face was rotten. Yeah. This unit doesn't know what you're talking about. I was fresh <laughs> as a daisy. You can use your my... whip a lot, though. You whipped yep. that thing around. Yep. You pierced him with your thorny vines. Just barely a few times. <laughs> <laughs> it worked, man. My questionable sword decisions did better, but, uh... <laughs> but I think we can agree that I guess we'll just go straight back the next day. Yeah. I, I would assume so, yeah. That sounds good. Cool. Uh, so real quick, um, in the description for those who are listening live um as well is on the podcast um we do have a, a new a new link and that links to our discord channel so our discord channel um gives you some access to the lore plus well, session recaps uh again just to kind of remind you uh we are building building the setting building the lore as as we go so uh getting access to the discord channel will give you pretty much access to everything <laughs> everything uh as far as mm -hmm. like what's been uncovered so far you also got uh, lots of lore yeah you've also got ac access to uh roster pages for everyone um uh so you can get some more information about the uh uh, the diff various parties that are going through here, um, each uh, each each individual character, as well as uh, links to uh, their players, uh, other things they do, other things that you guys do. Believe it or not, we all don't spend every moment of every day playing D and D. I wish as much man. as we. Uh, I, I really wish. wish, though. I we actually play to. a lot more Minecraft. Surprisingly enough, <laughs> <laughs> so much Minecraft lately. I would easily give up my day job to do this. Yes. <laughs> would love that. Uh, but until then, actually, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you would like to help, uh, we do have a Patreon as well. Um, you know, that would be that would be kind of stellar uh, to to join the Patreon. Uh, but all those links and all that stuff uh, you can find on agentsofbeard.com. Uh, but okay, let's get into it. Let's get into the sessions. You guys have uh, spent the night in Sedan. You uh, reported in um, what you found. So you found his uh, teleportation and circle. You found uh, that, that construct. We murdered a construct. Yes. Didn't ask any questions took no holds mm. yes there was a uh, a long debate on whether or not to do so but um and how to do so yes, especially considering we're normally a pacifistic group but yeah mm -hmm. mm, yeah yeah i think that's a that's an accurate statement you guys have been i mean you got the scorpions the scorpions are yeah they came out of nowhere and yeah. the undead too yeah um but generally speaking yeah you guys have been pretty pacifist Listen, we like making friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And the friends make lovely parties that Shinichi can dominate and be the king of Pumpkin Town. Yes. It works out. Yes, it does. The real yeah. D&D &D was the friends we made along the way. Yes! yes. <laughs> the power of friendship is the only way through. So the question it's is now, Moira. Pose. Yes. <laughs> the question is, without Shinichi, does our, does our pacifism remain? Or now that we don't have a, a, a reason to keep uh, people... Yeah, that's true. We were. Exactly. That's true. Fair. Fair. Although you did have E. That's... E was a pacifist. Surprisingly <laughs> pacifist, yes. Unless Except, you're a rock. Unless, I was going to say, unless they were rock, rocks. E. e was so... so he, if anything, he was the heart and soul of it. <laughs> Draco, has, Draco has been, for the most part, pacifist. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. the one that generally gets attacked, though. Yeah. Well, I mean... It's, yeah, it's more of a reaction. Reaction yeah. to surrender. In any case... Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's head back out. Um, okay. So let's, let's talk about uh that report again real quick. So uh you reported in about the teleportation circle. We wrote down the sigils, the uh, the runes that were on it. Mm -hmm. Um it's easily uh get back to. Um and yes, about that about that construct. Uh once it is uh uh, described and I think I think I said this for uh, Draco. Yes. Um, I think I think I think I you had uh, recalled some of this uh, history, but um, yes, the creature itself um, is named a cadaver collector. Yes. With one one job, one one directive, and that is to pick up pick up bodies. Yes. Uh oh. And Mora is Big just, spooks. Mora is just sitting <laughs> in herself somehow. I'm just, what? I didn't touch. I'm literally just deleting inactive effects right now. I have not touched my token. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Don't. Don't. Okay. Uh. All right. So let's don't let's hide do some. You on me. I don't like it. Let's do some. I didn't do it. Let's do some uh behind the scenes things. Please do not delete the inactive effects. I have placed quite a few in there to make it easier to do stuff. But because oh. you have deleted that that particular, I deleted one, only half. Uh, oh, no. Deleting that one in particular for some reason has resized you, which doesn't make sense, but it is uh, it has done so. Cool. You, have, you have activated the gremlins in the code. <laughs> cool. And I'll have to double check. Activated the track a, card. <laughs> if that is uh, applied on all maps. Um, okay, yes, yes, there's uh, inactive, inactive features or inactive effects are things that uh, apply to you uh, from other people or uh, they just get added through a spell or that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, like things like bless if you're concentrating on something. So yes, uh, please, please do not delete those because that'll, that'll be, um, annoying to bring back it, it the custom ones the custom ones i did <laughs> I, I, I tried i tried to make things easier try to make things easier especially with a large reduce um, i thought they were just from last session you know nah no nah, those uh those are ever <laughs> ever alive uh but uh, we'll, no more putzing for you <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll get that result we'll get that I like the uh okay so then uh my question for you then is uh you guys are leaving in the morning and heading back to the mounds where where are you going are you going to the teleportation circle in the first area or are you going in the teleportation circle uh in the below area that you I just found the below one that we just found because there I was another we'd room go to the one we yeah i figured we'd go to the one we just did and complete that area because we had that other hallway off to the side that we never went in mm -hmm. wonderful okay just wanted to just wanted to clarify uh anything in town you guys wanted to pick up before you headed down no, i, I think might so. i might want a health potion i don't think i ever got mm. one oh. yes uh those are default um, I have like four. I can just give you one. <laughs> oh, yeah. You automatically. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Sorry. Another behind the scenes thing. Uh, I updated character sheets. Yes. 
Uh, so fonts are larger, a bit easier to read. I love that, actually. I'm highly Appreciate appreciating it. it right now. Yes. Uh, I just made everything bigger so that, uh, you know, you could actually read it on stream and uh, I can I could read it without like squinting. <laughs> so um, are health potions potions of vitality? Mm, no, there's no. potions of healing. Yes. Okay. Have potions four. of healing. Uh, so oh, say like, uh, yes, I mean, you are a tree, but uh, you are a member of the Adventurers Guild, so you could walk out the door with one. Uh, they are free uh, on a single uh, item basis uh, before each uh, each time you, you head out. Beat. Uh, so if you need one, you can you can get one. Why do you have four? More? I don't know. Maybe I bought some a couple sessions ago and we forgot. <laughs> Are you just like randomly picking them up every time you start a session without like, oh, I don't have I any. I don't, don't think so. No, I know I had four last yeah. session, too. And I was like, that's strange. That is strange. I don't uh, remember. I, I think I, I, do I know I definitely bought like, some. So, yeah, yeah I, I think she bought some before I joined in on everything. Yes. I think I remember that from an episode of the podcast. I, sp I spend so money. If I want to add a potion of healing to my inventory without making it cost things, yes. how do I do that? Um, well, uh, I can, I can, I can do that for you. Okay, thank you. And then, um, the thing that I'll say is in your inventory, oh, you. um, it'll, uh, it, I don't think it'll destroy it. Let me verify. Let me verify how this is set up. Oh, yes, it does say destroy and empty. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, yeah, because I, uh, yeah, this is a, a common thing. So if you don't have one right now, I'll drag one onto your sheet. Uh, but it looks like everyone, yeah, everyone's fine. Um, and then I will put, uh, I'm just going to give everyone access to uh the item uh so if you go into the little suitcase looking icon on the sidebar on the right sidebar on items uh you'll see potion of healing and then you can drag drag that onto your character sheet uh moving forward okay okay so you guys are gonna head head down uh to uh where you were where you were before. To the basement. To the basement yes. of this area. Yes. yes, we shall return to the spiky corpse of the corpse spiker. Okay. Provided it's still there. Yes. Uh, if it's not still there, I'll be worried. <laughs> yeah, that'll be, that, that would be concerning. That, that would be concerning. Um, <laughs> That's why I'm like, hmm, concern. <clears throat> but I will say uh, it is still here. Uh, however, there are some alterations that have been made uh, to this uh, to this uh, d uh, this area, this map. Uh, so you might see some visual things different. Uh, obviously, we've got um, a dead uh, construct here, but you guys so much more humanoid. Yes, you guys uh, will walk to the. Um, lighthouse. Lighthouse. Walk to the lighthouse. Uh, step into the circle. You activate your stone, and uh, appear here. Bright light flashes. You uh, find yourself in a uh, very familiar room. The door is still open to the north. You can still see the secret entrance that has been uh, left open as well. At least for Sa Salix. Is that the dead thing we killed? Is this his body? That is his, his body. body. He left it there, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. He hasn't vanished, which makes me a lot more happy. Yeah. <laughs> does he look different? He does, yes. Mm, no. no. It looks what the are same. What's the same to you guys? Yeah. How did I how did I tilt my never mind? Uh use the uh, uh control button at the same time as uh mouse turn. <laughs> He's just really looking at that penny. You went, ooh, look a penny. <laughs> That's what happened. So, uh, I'm oh. going to poke my head into the previous oh, room here. I see. I'm recording. And make sure nothing is there. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> What is, what is, what is happening? What is happening? On my I don't screen? know. <laughs> what is what Felix? Does Felix do? Say, oh it God. works now. Yes, it's never worked for me before. I couldn't. I couldn't get it to work. I was very happy. Game was snake. <clears throat> yeah, he was snake doing that snake. Tron game real quick. <laughs> Go. I'm trying to. I'm trying to push Draco at this point. I'm pushing Draco. <laughs> try try not to uh, drop yourself on top of a door because it gets finicky. Yeah. I know I cleared out this room before with the little bags that were on the statues. Mm -hmm. I mean, what? Did you take all that? So I, I think I'm pretty so. Sure I, think I, did. So. I think so. I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, they were panicking about it. Yet. I was like, thanks. <laughs> this room is entirely dark to me. Yes, that is accurate. You want to get a torch? I had, I gave you a bunch. Uh, let me verify this because Salix appears to have a uh, vision of some kind, but I can't figure out why. I had cast a uh, cantrip fire or something. Hold on. Where's spells? Uh, produce flame. Oh, is it, it still it active? probably went out at some point during the fight, but during that time I had a flame blade, so I don't think that mattered hugely. But I theoretically, I would either just recast that or probably just recast that uh all right i will uh apply a torch and i'll figure out why uh it was still active for you that's kind of strange uh so draco you should be able to see stuff uh the change here in this room is that uh the doors on the left are double doors now instead of a single door yeah mm -hmm. let's say that's bigger wonderful twice um, the door twice the knock knock jokes yes yeah, so uh so yeah you guys uh, are in this room that you have been before. Uh, there's a statue that looked uh, vaguely uh, dragonborn adjacent um, and uh, was holding bags that seemed to be made out of, uh, that seemed to oh, be nice. built into the statue, but after closer inspection were actually leather bags that you could pull off and pull the contents of from. So, uh, but yeah, you guys are heading towards these doors Interactable. Interactable. I open the door. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, hallway. Yeah, All big hallway. Right. So it's a big Be careful. Hallway. Last time we were here, we heard we heard skeleton noises. Be careful. Uh yeah. Uh before you continue moving on, uh everybody, uh we're gonna do <laughs> so I came right back. Uh, I didn't do that, by the way. I was I was uh back. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna do... Your ping must be really bad. You just mm -hmm. lagged back to the doorway. Good, yep. <laughs> um, okay, I need to do something real quick, uh, which is probably going to refresh every uh, the browser for you guys. Cool. Uh, so give me a moment. No. My character sheet. It's gone. Yeah, everything's gone. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. All right. Um, still not there. Still not active for me. What is going on? I mean, I see what I assume is a foot. Yeah, that's not what I. Uh, let's. We're gonna. We're gonna pause. We're gonna pause the game. Um. No, I'm looking oh, for something yeah. else. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. It's all the way down there. Okay, gotcha. All right, first of all, gotta pull the map pieces in. Uh, please. Uh, everybody roll me a d6, please. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, whoa, that's fancy that you can tell us. Oh, I could have just clicked on that. Oh, I'm yes. sorry. Yes, yeah, so you can just click on the. Uh, it's on okay. The I already, I already rolled nicely though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you were a lucky. You I'm did keeping a lucky mine for us. <laughs> But good to know for future. That'll mm -hmm. keep things a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then also a, a perception roll. And again, you can just click the dice. Is this the first time we've used it? Oh my god! Yes, this, this is the first time Holy, we've used it. Holy, what are my ah, rolls? Yeah, okay. All right. I apo Apologies. So yes, we're using a, a uh, requester type uh, system uh, that I can request specific things from specific people. Uh, but you can go just click it and it'll just... Uh, just Although I do have a plus five per to perception anyway so like the two people 20, in the front. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah the two people in the front row the average <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty accurate great 
We're sitting You're doing back your with best, binoculars. sweeties. <laughs> All right. Moira's got You're her doing great, sweetie. pirate telescope. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my tree eyes, which are known. Man, no, I got my elf eyes. I can just see in the dark. Everything, y'all are. All right, all right. Like literally a robot. I should have good eyes. You're not dark vision, though. That's probably an upgrade. <laughs> I've already made the upgrade, and I gave it away. <laughs> Please install better eyes and then restart. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, here's, uh, so first of all, uh, on our D6s, we rolled a, uh, a three, a three, a five, and a six. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see if someone's, uh, looking out for you. I am money. What? Oh, did you throw a coin into the, Maybe. into the gods? Toss well? a coin to your Moira! No. <laughs> oh, sand dunes of plenty? Oh, yeah. sand dunes of plenty? I enjoy both of us, but absolutely not. <laughs> Thank you, Salix, for encouraging me. <laughs> I Moira encourage you is the to hype be the greatest or the rock greatest star rock star of all time. time. Salix has your back as well. I love that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Friend Salix, come. We must endanger everyone. I mean, we must investigate the room. Oh, in at least you're honest this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, movement's disabled, so. Yeah. Yeah. This unit thinks the rust buildup has gotten to it again. Not again. Um, all right. Well, um, okay. Perception. <laughs> so you guys open up the doors and you begin to walk in. There's a few things that will be very apparent uh, to you. Uh, Mora, 20, Loon. And I'm not sure why it's, it's, not, it's not your character. Give me a second. Let me update that real quick. Oh, hey, it, it, huh, huh, what do you know? It is different. <laughs> uh, say Alex, uh, Draco with the 12, Swamp with a 12. Uh, okay. Yeah. Very apparent sounds, uh, that you guys would, well, in, in general, very apparent things that you guys would be aware of. First of all, um, there is, uh, Lot of movement um, type tracks um, on the ground. It looks like there, there there had been dust at some point, but yeah, it just seems like this this hallway is heavily heavily trafficked. Uh, the other thing that would be very obvious to you is as soon as you open up those those doors, they creaked they creaked open. Oops. Um, so there was Oops. a bit of My a bad. sound. You guys just kind of pushed through. Oops. Creaked open. And to the north, there is a, a room. Oop, oop, don't want to click that door accidentally. Uh, there's a room to the <laughs> north up here that... The place uh, is haunted. It just opens. You're starting to hear some groans and some uh, movement and thuds. There's uh, someone at the door that is pound, starting to pound on it as you guys ah. walk in. Don't um, open dead inside. Yeah, it definitely seems uh, <laughs> suspicious. Uh, Swamp, yes, there is a leg that you can see on the leg. ground over here. Uh, wow. anyway, it's a uh, body is, part is it of some leg? sort. It's a body part uh -huh. of some sort. I see a thumb. Guys, mm? guys, this is bad news. Mm. Uh, this is not good. Mm. Friends, oh. there appears to be someone who has been amputated here. We must endeavor to shh, save them. Draco. Shh, shh, Draco. Shh. Do you not hear that? Shh. The pounding, right? Inside oh. voice. Inside voices. <laughs> library voice. What is a library? We'll tell you later, but shush. Yonder is la biblioteca. Shush. Manica. <laughs> uh, Libraries are like graveyards for my kin. Uh, oh, this is tragic. Uh, no. <laughs> Where there's a door up here on the right. It, yeah. it has, if there's something behind it, it's making a lot of noise. And, uh, it's pounding on it. Um, can you do your thingy and become mist and go check it out? Uh, I gotta see if there's a crack in the in the door frame. Are Hold there on. cracks? Friend because, Moira, shall I, I investigate? No, no, let's swap loud. investigate. You're too loud, bud. <laughs> You're so loud, bud. But they are being so kind. They are knocking on the door. They are not knocking on the No. Who's oh. there? <laughs> it's a knock knocking. 
Are there any cracks in this door frame that I could mist through? Make Perhaps me... one of the cracks might be a punchline to the joke. I don't think so. Uh... I feel like I'm playing a portal with Salix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yep. Do you need a potato soon? <laughs> yeah. How's your battery doing? Buddy? Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. It's... Oh no. Uh, I, I I would like from you a uh, intelligence based check. Okay. Your choice <laughs> on if you have anything that would uh, modify that. Uh, but basically, before you actually um uh. Do do anything, just just getting a sense of the vibe. Uh yeah. Make a Can make, I make a note. assist by helping look and let Swamp roll an advantage? Well um I would move in there if I could, but I can't move my token. If I could I would, but I can't. Yes, that is accurate. I did uh I did pause everyone. Uh go ahead and, and move your tokens about <laughs> Um, as you see fit. No, <laughs> yeah, no, that's <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> well, Salus is like beast. <laughs> Any of my characters, yes, I would do the same thing. Just move, move <laughs> Stand back here. Um, Swamp, you uh, you got the suggestion. Uh, you got the suggestion to um, uh, go in, go in and, and check it out. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe using your gaseous form. And you start looking at the door. Um, Mora, I will say... Um, okay, let's, 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 let's backtrack a bit. Um, what I want is... I want you uh, to uh, attempt to get a better idea of what is behind that door. Okay. Before you make a choice to go in there. Oh no, I, that sounds like a warning. I did not like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Can we tell from the noises? Like, can we tell if it's like one of the undead or a zombie or a scorpion again, possibly? Well, uh, oh. Swamp was, was, was leading this, uh, this, this part of it. So Swamp, I would, uh, uh accept it. Ignore the uh, investigation, or I'm sorry, the intelligence requirement. Um, if you feel like you have a role that would uh, suffice here, please, please do so. Oh, a role that would suffice. Well, and so I, and, and 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 announce it before you roll to see if I have, I have a much higher chance at perception than I right. do at investigation. So right. I think I'm I'm gonna try to perceive. Boy, yeah. howdy, I'm you not perceptive. You should have left. The, the two I was leading with her. Can I roll for investigation? Or can I investigate? Is that what I'm meaning? I was right there next to her. Well, I, I let's let's backtrack. Let's backtrack. Okay. I think you were specifically told not to investigate, though. Well, no, I was. You're right. uh, that was. Uh, I and, was. Yes. <laughs> and Draco is a good boy. He will listen. So okay. <laughs> let's let let let's backtrack this and go into dungeon crawl uh mechanics. So we'll go back right. to uh ten minute rounds unless specified otherwise that you are not spending ten minutes in here. So um I will allow everyone to do whatever they would like to do here uh with this door, with this portion of the hallway uh, without moving further down the passage. So if there is something else that you guys would like to do uh, here, you could roll separately. You could roll together if you're helping one another. Um, but no no reroll. So Svamp, you're looking for openings to uh, potentially see if, uh, if there's a, a space that you could fit in with your gas. Mm -hmm. uh draco you are wanting to investigate uh for what for what purpose just same thing make sure we're safe nothing is coming up near us from beyond the beyond the veil of darkness just 
be safe. See if I understand anything's going on mm -hmm. or what's going on around us. If I can decer decipher anything. Okay, more. I'm just uh, trying to help Swamp look at this door. I don't want to move farther in until we deal one thing at a time. Okay. Um, then if that is the case, uh, Swamp, go ahead and roll, uh, again. And we'll okay. use, uh, whatever's the highest for your, your roll. I'm gonna do investigation this time. Uh, oh, no, 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 it was, it was perception. It was perception. <laughs> she's helping, she's helping you, so you, it's rolling okay. perception. Yeah. Oh! That's better. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go ahead and get, just delete that one. <laughs> Uh, a 19 a 19 is better say Alex mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um I I had been looking I, I don't really have any like spells or anything that would be super helpful um I'm probably just kind of sitting back and waiting for leader swamp leader swamp excuse me not swamp um <laughs> you smell lovely today not like a not like a pond of rotting water um, Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would wait for Leader Swamp to uh, to complete her uh, investigation of the door before doing anything. Probably. Okay, so you are you are are, are He's just are watching. Uh, Draco, mm -hmm. real mm -hmm. quick. So uh, yeah, you're just kind of trying to become aware of this of your surroundings overall. Just seeing if anything's coming from in front of us, keeping an eye on uh, where we're facing to make sure nothing appears out of the darkness. Okay, so it's uh, kind of like you're on watch. You're uh, just ready yeah. ready to defend your... your so, group. like, for anything that's coming from the area where the amputated leg we can see is. Okay. All right, so Swamp, the uh, 19, much, much better than before. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, after you guys uh, spend a little bit of time here uh, investigating, uh, just overall, just getting a sense of what's happening, what's in, what's around this area, um, you would definitely see uh, some openings uh, under the door. Uh, seems like there's a bit of damage to one, uh, one of the sides of the door as you could probably fit in, uh, as a gas, but as you and more are just kind of talking about and looking at, at the door and just listening to what's in the other side, you're pretty confident it's undead and they're hoping to get out. It's likely that undead are right at the door and are wanting to get out at you guys. As far as count, uh, it's hard to tell. It's hard to know uh, without knowing the size of the room that's on the other side of that door. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's at least... It sounds like there's at least two different uh, uh, figures that are standing at the door pounding mm. at it. Uh, however, you guys do get the sense that um, eventually they will break down that door. It's just made out of wood. Um, and they seem to be very aware that you're there and um, will most likely break down that door to get at you guys. Can I, how tall is this hallway? Um, I can't recall what we said for the other room. I would say at least okay. 15 feet. And how tall is the tallest person here? I um, I'm pretty sure that's either me or Swamp. Yeah, yeah. Swamp are tall. And yeah. I'm like six foot eleven. Um, Swamp, I think, is like seven, eight ish. For bulk. Oh my I lord. Am Ten foot tall, three inches. Yeah. I'm very tall. Oh, it's only on one creature. Shoot. I was I was thinking I had an idea. We open the door and I levitate them immediately. And then we could run in there and then get scope out the room before they come down but i can only do it to one creature and we hear two i'm not particularly worried about a couple of undead yes yeah it's not true. a big bad boss i'm not worried about it true <laughs> so swamp um I, I would say that you you know the size of the gaps 
um, around the door. You could easily fit a spider or something small. Oh. Uh, so mm -hmm. maybe a use of wild shape if you want to mm -hmm. scope out the area. Uh, or, Just don't let them squish you. Or again, you could you could gaseous form, but um, you know it sounds like they're relatively close, yep. and uh, at least at least two of them are relatively close. And if um, your your idea is just uh, to scope out the the area, see how many there are. Um, yeah, it's just a, just a, I, I would say it's probably a toss up for you. Um, what what makes sense? Just opening the door and accepting whatever fates there, or uh, scoping it out first to at least be aware. But I would say that you are for sure that the door will be broken down within ten minutes. Let's get oh. there. So, um, who wants to go in and just end the threat before it can surprise me. us later? Me. I actually really like the idea of turning into a bug and yeah. going in there. And um, I mean, I'm all for them. that. Yeah. I'm just like, I I think it's be a good me. idea. I should to, be like twenty undead. We, yeah. we need to see how many are in there, but I do feel like ending a threat before it can, you know, hurt us is a good idea. It'll take her less than 10 minutes to crawl in and crawl back out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, That's I'm thinking that I can offense. probably crawl in, take care of them. Um, you want to start the fighting and then we join in after we hear noises? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That could work, yeah. As long yeah. as there's not 20 of them. Well, that's what the scoping phase is if for. If there's 20 of them, I will come back out. Okay, Tell sounds you. good. That sounds I, good. <laughs> I, I will say, if she goes in there... And the door is locked, and she starts fighting. Then, it's already uh, I think half three of us can get this door Yeah, I was about to say it's already half bashed out. You could you can get in there. <laughs> yeah, and we have pickaxes here. Oh, pickaxes, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some pickaxes. Draco's good with them. I still. Is that, you still got is that mine for from picking before. the lock with? Yeah. <laughs> There is definitely uh, a uh, a locking mechanism on this door. You see a handle. It's it's not a knob or anything. It's a, it's a handle to pull. pull I'll break back. the handle off and open it. Uh, sorry, not a handle, uh, like a ring, a ring to like grab hold of and pull. Oh, to pull it. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, we could wait until the zombies are at just the right moment in their rhythm of pounding on the door, yank it open, and have them fall flat on their faces. Perfect. You've been watching too much. Mystical TV. Yep. <laughs> that was my favorite channel in the jungle outskirts. <laughs> I'm... Boomerang. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. Spider swamp. Yep. I would like to be spider a little swamp. spider. Not, spider not one swamp. of them big ones like usual, but one of them yeah. little ones. Spider swamp, spider swamp, crawls under door and avoids the stomp. Hopefully. And then I shall crawl through the cracks in the door, or the door frame between the door and the door frame, the along ground. the wall. Or the oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Pretty please. I thought you were continuing the song with just a really poor beat. But, uh... No, <laughs> not even a little. <laughs> uh, well, okay, wild shape. You are going to become a spider. <sighs> Uh, so you should have the ability to uh, uh, access that token, yes. It's so tiny. Uh, you can't, She's you can't, so you can't move it. You can't move yet. But um, okay, so your your goal here is you're gonna squeeze through. Yes. Um, with your uh, with your uh, with your spider form. Watch Salix accidentally run her over. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sounds you just have good. to dodge in between my treads. That would be like the cockroach in Wally. -E. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, all right, I will go ahead and move you uh, over, and you will you. get uh, right about there. Uh -huh. And so there are uh -huh. uh, a few, a few uh, these guys, uh -huh. but uh, two in in particular that are just kind of like bouncing, bouncing back and forth uh, to like scrape and pound at this door. 
I would like to scoot all the way along the back wall here. Got a... So, uh, I would say this would probably be a bit difficult for you to do on the floor. No, I'm on the wall. <laughs> Correct, yeah. Uh, on the wall, on the ceiling would be totally fine. Yes. Um, they don't seem to be uh, aware of you, but yes, you are able to uh, get up on the ceiling to get a full, full grasp of, of this thing. There are... Can I wild shape from one shape to another shape without going back into Firbolg? I mean, if the shape you want looks an awful lot like a Firbolg, then definitely. <laughs> I used to know this, but it's been a long time since I've wildered, wildered shape. Wildered? Um, okay, so wildered. I think it kind of depends on your, uh, on your uh, subclass. So, okay. uh, uh, Circle of the Moon, uh, could definitely, uh, it, they can drop concentration, drop out of wild shape, I think pretty much whenever, uh, but it's a bonus mm -hmm. action to get back in. Uh, mm -hmm. everyone else, I think it is an action. Hmm. Yeah. So I would have to fur bulk and then back. Yes, but we're talking in, uh, we're talking, yes, yes. Uh, but let me, uh, let me just verify, uh, wild shape. Uh, assume the beast of your wild shape. Uh, bu 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 you drew it, uh, level of the beast. Um. It's an action. Yeah, it's an action. So the, the circle of the moon is a bonus action. That's the, that's the change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At this point, I just have like my ear kind of close to the door. I'm listening. Um, and a hand pop through the door. Yes. Yeah, now, I mean, that'd be funny. But yeah. Uh, I will say um, for things like this. Yep. We'll go back into like six second initiative kind of kind of situation. But yes, mm -hmm. for six seconds, you would be a fur bulk before you could change back into a um whatever whatever else you'd oh, like to six do six seconds is a long time and it would die. uh alert them that yeah, there. there's something yeah. else there's here a, there's a furball here yeah, there's <laughs> a 10 foot tall furball here there's a body <laughs> to eat. i can just see the cartoon camera panning of the zombies pacing back and forth and you you know they go they go along in, in the background you just see a little spider and then they go back the other way and you see a 10 foot tall fur bulge in the background and then it passes out of frame and then they then they you know quickly whirl back and it's something else and... they do a double take yep <laughs> it's like a horror movie panning yeah uh, i will say it is very obvious to you swamp that um uh they are all standing and alert and uh, facing the, the doorway. Some right. have just moved closer and others are just kind of waiting, it seems. They're not necessarily all pushing each other. Okay. I got here. That's an action. That's an action. I don't have enough bonus actions, is what I've learned. I was going to swap out my spells so that I had some more bonus actions, and apparently I forgot to. So, oops. All right. <laughs> Let's get this thing going. <laughs> this might be a bad idea. Swamp going, huh? James Bond in there. So do you want to, uh, uh, you're, you're, oh, well, go ahead. You see, you say what you, you are looking to do <laughs> and I'll react. I would that like, concerned me. <laughs> I would like to fur bulk <laughs> and <Smash>. then cast <laughs> entangle. <laughs> All right. You want to change to fur bulk? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, let's, uh, before, before we do that, let's just verify how do you drop a wild shape if you don't know? Do, do you know? 
Um, so, um... Real-time update, Bomp is now a spider forever. No. <laughs> I mean, it lasts a certain amount of time. Um, but yep. I'm, 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 I'm sure you can. Yeah, you can automatically revert it in some fashion. So uh, oh, oh, okay. A, a bonus, bonus action. Bonus yeah. action on your turn. Yes. Okay. So bonus action on your turn to yep. drop it, and you want to do what again? Cast entangle. Tangle is an action. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh that sounds that sounds fine. Oh, why are you moving me? Uh, because. <laughs> because that's not. I that was where I wanted to be. I, I know <laughs> that is where you are. To, to be fair, so okay, <laughs> so you're gonna drop your shape. You're gonna yeah. uh, cast in, in, entangle. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know that that will most likely well that it that will that will begin this uh, this this fight. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we'll do this. We'll, Never has uh, been more excited. We'll bring you back. Uh, you have dropped yep. the wild shape with a bonus action. You have uh, cast uh, entangle, uh, which is yes, filling up this entire box. Yep, I am now inside my own vines. <laughs> and this unit knows the feeling. Um, Please ignore that. Sorry. Yep. Creature near you when you guys spell must succeed on a strength. So I think that <laughs> does apply to you as well. Oh I mean, it does say what? a creature in the area when you cast a spell must succeed. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Oh no, you just gave me any, a good thing to do. <laughs> uh, but we need a uh, strength saving throw. Shrink saving throw. Oh, oh my uh, god. Oh, it's up well, so much. I was gonna pretend like I knew nothing, but uh <laughs> uh okay. Well you guys, yes, you please. guys know nothing. You guys yeah, literally know nothing. <laughs> yeah, hey, you guys are the way they're doing. Hey Swap! Yeah, you guys, uh, we're doing great. You know, I would say uh maybe. Uh, just maybe you might see some time. some weird vineage happening just in that yeah, crease of the door. Uh, now from the underside. I just so I kind of tilt my head at it like what? The? <laughs> What's she doing now? Uh, okay. Perhaps there so, was another opening, and Swamp decided to leaf. <laughs> uh, so this uh, the saving throw is a thirteen. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four will pass that, so we'll say that this guy. That's not great. That's not great odds. <laughs> uh, this guy uh, did not. Uh, so he well, there's, there's obviously only two zombies in there, and, and both of them are restrained now, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah that's doing a, great. That's like a wonderful hey. thing. Uh, two out of two. Uh, this guy is restrained. Uh, the rest are not. Uh, but it is. Oh, and obviously you have you have passed it. Um, yeah. We'll have to we'll have to come back to that on whether or not that was the correct ruling or whether or not you have to roll that. But I feel like just how it's worded, it would suggest you would have to. Um, I'm okay. more interesting. Why not? I guess I guess Swamp. Do you do you consider yourself to be a creature? Were you yeah. were you created yeah, in some so. fashion? Yeah, a little bit. Or do you do you just exist by the very fact of your own existence? Are you okay? <laughs> what is this philosophical debate? She's a spider, isn't she? <laughs> French Shinichi, it is time to crush skulls. Shinichi's not in here. Oh, French Salix. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys. I'm okay, sorry. I would say you I'm guys sorry. aren't aren't aware yet. Are... Yeah, we've got a uh, so the bonus action of getting out of the shape uh, intent. Uh, uh, Using an entanglement to then entangle uh, these these huh. these dudes. Uh, what is uh, what is your next step here? Um, I can't really do a reaction right now. Correct. And so, I mean, I have movement, but it would not do me any good. Correct. The only thing I can do is go break the door. 
Okay, break the door. Did she say break the door? Did she say get out of the way? Drink. What? Uh, Break some more. Break. I've rushed the door. Break the door (laughs) and let's go ahead and uh, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, Say the thing. Arch the door. Say the thing. Roll in. He said the thing. Oh. I can never find initiative. Where is oh? Up at the top. Up right. Oh my god! (laughs) We wasted our good rolls already. (laughs) That's you. Sorry. Top right. Where? Top Top right. Right right below your proficiency. Proficiency. Ah, initiative. Initiative. Right. 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 I know. It feels kind of hidden, doesn't it? Okie dokie. Oh, wonderful. Someone actually did something. Salix can go (laughs) first with his thorny whip. (laughs) Break that door down. (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) Uh, Okay. I think that is everyone. So, uh, Salix, you hear you hear the words break down the door. What would you like to do? Um, uh, let's see here. It's just a, a wooden door that's seems pretty a busted, bit, right? Yeah, it seems pretty busted. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. A, with a good tool, you could probably knock it down pretty easily. Cool. Do I have my, uh, uh, how would some bone dice work? No, just kidding. Um, Let's see here. Well, I I suppose I have a scimitar, a sword. Um, could I could I try bashing it with that? Uh, not really made for that kind of job. That's fair. That's fair. I have a shield. Could I try? Mashing it with that. <laughs> I don't know how many tools. Yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Uh, go uh, roll me like a strength. A little, a little... Uh, strength. Yeah, like a athletics would would suffice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, that is that athletics. Hmm. 17. I'm really concerned that I'm getting all my good rolls out of the way on the door. <laughs> uh, 17. Uh, you can definitely feel and hear the cracking of the wood. Uh, the hinges that are getting loose. It is still up, uh, but you feel like another strike or something like that would, uh, would, 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 would knock it down. Cool, cool. I suppose that was an action. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, I will use a tiny bit more of my movement to step back out of the way and uh, uh, <laughs> you know what? I what? might. Um. Consideration. No, oh, I think I'm going to use my bonus action to summon my flame blade again. Okay. Um. You're already concentrating on flame blade. That's incorrect. It's from last time, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was focused on um, Halo of Spores or something. Symbiotic entity from last time, so. Wacky. Because uh, I'm not yep. seeing any any effects on, on you at this point. Uh, I had to tell it to stop when I decided to cast um, Vine nonsense. Because I've got a lot of effects. I just hit end concentration and continue? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, okay. We will do that. Um, uh, 
there we go. Okay. So for the next 10 minutes, you have this uh, blade with flames on it. Yep. Very well. Uh, so yes, that was a a action, bonus action, uh, partial movement. Anything else? I could, I could walk back and forth a few more times, but I think I'll, I'll just leave that be. Sounds good. Draco. <laughs> yes. Uh, Salix has uh, begun the the process of knocking down the door. It seems like it's still upright, but uh, definitely damaged. Definitely more damaged than it was before. Uh, would you like to do? Uh, but you did, yeah. And you did hear uh, Swamp yell out, "Please break down the door." Paraphrased. I charged. I charged the door with my thunder <laughs> gauntlet. <laughs> Just one gauntlet. You don't think it needs two? I've given it my all. I am like pouncing at the door to break it down. <laughs> it's gonna He's gonna land hit the, on that guy. He's gonna hit the door it, right? and it's just gonna barely take anything. It's gonna go away and he's just gonna keep going. Yep. And then he'll get entangled in his own tail, not in swamp stuff. He's gonna make friends with the guy that's directly behind the door. <laughs> oh, he would be proud. <laughs> Friend zombie. <laughs> what do I need to do for this? Uh, attack it. <laughs> Get that attack. Oh. 18. 18. Okay. 18 will hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Imagine it's like a nat 20 to hit a door. 11. Uh, imagine. That'll bust down. That'll bust down the door. Get it. That's max damage. Good job, man. Yay. And it'll open <laughs> on up a door. As it just kind Worth of uh, just kind of explodes there. And uh, splinters. Uh, but yeah, now now you can't see uh, anything because of uh, placement. Uh, but that seems like rather odd. Uh, so I'm just going to move Salix around um, just to guys oh. give you guys a better idea of what's there. Uh, but yes, yeah, Draco. Um, yes, because of, because, either, because yeah. of the light. I'll, I'll just move Salix down here because that kind of makes sense. Uh, Salix uh, or uh, Draco. Yes, there are uh, undead on the other side of the door and are uh, seemingly very appreciative of you knocking down the door. Oh, now that I have broken the door down, I scream out, friend swamp! <laughs> and uh, I uh -oh. use my extra attack with my lightning launcher to attack the person directly in front of me. This guy? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Draco. <laughs> Burn Swamp, I am coming. Hey, this would be so I... much funnier if Swamp well, was like right. in vines right now, just be like, Hi, Draco. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yes, just there are there. <laughs> there are a lot of vines around. Yes, as well. Yeah, so uh, I am in, <laughs> in a jungle. <laughs> um. I don't oh, know what Draco. Did. This uh, is what a jungle is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Draco uh, can see that, but cannot see you. Um, okay, so light <laughs> lightning launcher on uh, this guy. Uh, the twenty one will connect. So go ahead and roll your damage. Twelve. Oh, big rolls. Uh, as it strikes it, it begins to vibrate from the shock. Does not go down though. Let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's what my extra six. Okay. Um, I don't think I can do anything else. All right. We've got some movement then. Uh, this guy will uh travel down. This guy will follow suit. Um, they are entangled. Uh, no. Nope. Oh no, those those. They passed. Ones, I guess. Yeah, they <laughs> passed. Um, uh, the other hey, look, ones, guys, the two we heard. I see, I see the ones that are entangled. Uh, the <laughs> other ones, um, are uh, aware of you. Yep. Um, and uh, roll me, uh, roll me a d100. Who, me? Yes, and say, like, tell me even or odd what is good. Um, I'm gonna go with odd is good. Okay, odd is good. 57 odd is good. This guy is gonna move away from you. You can use a reaction to use an attack of opportunity against him as he moves uh, down from you. Okay. 
Wah. Attack. Okay. Wah. A whack. Whack him. Uh, 15 will connect. Wah. Uh, for six. Whack him. Very good. So you strike him in the back, <laughs> back of the head, back of the neck, that, that area, and just kind of... Bonk. Yeah, strike down, stumbles forward into the back of the uh, the guy in front of him, but uh, yeah, it seems very adamant of moving to the south. Hey! No, 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 come back here! Uh, the rest of the guys, though, will continue uh, doing stuff. So uh, I'd say this guy is going to kind of like move move down here just for. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, if they're moving, thing. if they're still Ooh, moving, what? don't we get attack of opportunities because they're right? Uh, I would say Salix has one. But uh, no one else. Well, uh, where, where? Hold on. Where did my sword go? This my guy uh, does. Uh, this this guy did uh, move in and out of your melee range. You would be able to attack him if you'd like to. Sweet. A uh, thirteen will connect. Ooh, brilliant. Okay. And scroll all the way back up for damage. Okay, hold on. Here we go. And okay, very good. Um, so yes, you see him light up a little bit uh, from from the flames, kind of carry those flames with him. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we're gonna have uh, some attacks on Svam. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. let's uh, let's take a look at Restrained here real quick. Yeah. Uh, just to remind ourselves of what what that actually means. Oh, thank you. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have it here. Uh, give me one second. What truly does it mean to be restrained if their mind is still free to roam? All right, Professor Wally. (laughs) Uh, Entangle and then restrained. So a restrained creature's speed becomes zero and it can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage and the creature's attack rolls have a disadvantage and it auto uh it, it, oh and dexterity save saving throws it has a disadvantage so uh, any attacks swamp uh on these guys these the ones with the token uh mm-hmm. or the little yeah little icon yep. uh cannot cannot uh or you you attack at advantage um they, yep. they attack you with disadvantage so first of all, let's do this uh slam <laughs> Oh, the good, good and attack. welcome to the jam. Uh, so we'll do uh, 16. We'll do a 11. We'll do a 19. These are with disadvantage. So it'd be 11 then? Uh, no, these are three different attacks. So you have three different guys oh. around you. That's okay. So that's in total? Uh, yes, three it'd different be... attacks. So 16. One, one was for 16. Uh, the one that uh, to your to your uh, right, uh, depending okay. on how you're looking, uh, rolled the 16. So. Uh, the other two had disadvantage. Will roll 11 and 19. So the 11 will miss. The 19 and 16 will hit, as far as I can tell. 19 okay. disadvantage so is scary. That's not the actual. That's point. not damage. Okay. No, that's not got damage. It. Oh. Uh, so you got you got you got two. You got you got two uh, that, that got hit two you. Uh, five. Five bludgeoning damage, and uh, yeah, basically, okay. uh, oh, an additional five, uh, okay. so ten total. Um, and yeah, okay. they're just like trying to club. They're just, okay. they're just clubbing they're just, you with their with their fists, with their hands. on me. Got it. Oh, I, for some reason I forgot how D and D works, and I panicked. <laughs> that would be a lot of damage. It'd probably kill you. you. Thought you were Draco would have back been. In the caves with the would have been the ten is fine. People. I can handle mm-hmm. ten. Uh, you are concentrating, so I will need a uh, DC uh, ten concentration uh, saving throw. Okay. You should be able to just click that button in the uh, chat. Uh, hopefully, or you can just roll off from your sheet. Your choice. Eight, eight, fail. Um, unless you want to uh, use uh, another mean uh, a thing, you want to use a thing. DM inspo. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that because okay. I I like my vines. Okay, go <laughs> ahead and uh, roll again. Uh, Fourteen. Okay, so you are uh, you remain concentrating. I would like these three to stay with me, please. <laughs> I don't like getting all surrounded. 
Well, yeah, I don't want you guys to have to deal with six guys, is the thing. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, the ones to the south. Uh, one will attack. One will attack Draco. Okay. God, I'm sorry, but thank That's God. That's a miss. Uh, 15. 15 will That's miss. That's a miss. Um... Uh, another one will 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 attack you. Okay. Hmm. Actually, I. Yeah. Actually, um, so this is something that I I had posted, uh, in in overhead. But we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out and see uh see how it, how it feels. Uh, but flanking, we're gonna be treating it a little bit differently. So instead of either side, uh, in melee. It's uh, as long as you've got uh, two two people on on one guy, uh, they get a plus two. So it could be an L shape, could be in this shape that we've got here, it would suffice for flanking. So it's it's orthogonal or diagonal. Orthogonal. Uh, correct. Yeah, it doesn't have to be on either okay. side; just has to be on you. So it's a plus two. So would a seventeen connect? No. Mm. What? How high you is are... your AC? 19. What? <laughs> you, You're you only level 5! That one will hit. Uh, an 18 plus, uh, plus 2, two. is... Nice. Uh, yeah, that'll be it. 20. 20. So that, that will, you should that have kept quiet hit. about that, Draco. Oh, uh, uh, he can access our stats. And we'll look at uh, damage 7. 7 bludgeoning. It just kind of punches you in the face. Just kind of tries to push you, to push you back. It doesn't seem as interested in you. It's just kind of trying to push you away. What do you concentrate? Snarl at it. Wow. What do you? Are you concentrating on something? No, I'm not concentrating on anything. That's Wacky. from last time. Oh my god! What is going on? <laughs> Hold on a second. I saw a bardic inspiration enlarged reduce. I mean, I, yeah, I, 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 covers. I I look at your token and I don't see any of that as a. They're a inactive. Well, yeah, inactive yeah. doesn't. Yeah, it shouldn't suffice here. So I don't know what what it's suggesting you were concentrating on, but you can ignore it. Um, yeah, I might have set something, and I don't. I don't recall what it is. So uh, okay, we'll just ignore that. Uh, but seven bludgeoning damage. Yeah, it tries to push you away, and it seems to change focus to more. Uh, but more. Uh, this one that is in the doorway just kind of like comes down, yeah. takes a swipe at you, and move moves back. Shield. <laughs> you were uh, ready. <laughs> I was ready. As a reaction of being attacked, and it takes me up to a DC of fifteen. He has to get fifteen or higher. Okay. Please don't. Technically, plus two. uh, yeah, plus two. I'm gonna add that to the to the situation. Please don't. Bonus. Please roll low. Uh, ten. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, and that is uh, that is their their turn. Swamp, you are surrounded. Two are uh, attached to these vines, or vice versa. Um, and one is uh, one is not uh, the one the one the one to your right. Uh, but they all are uh, ready to feed upon you. Uh, what'd you like to do? <laughs> um, oh, I once again forgot to use reactions. Oops. All right. Gotta use that your next... Dang it! Your next turn, Beard, I have to use reactions. I, I don't have a turn. I'm the DM. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I still have my vines up. As a bonus action, I'm gonna do shillelagh. Um... Can I, because I still have Entangle going, can I, as an action with Entangle up, do, like, attack with my quarterstaff? Uh, yes, there's nothing stopping you from attacking while okay. you are uh, concentrating. The, uh, the, the stoppage is, uh, uh, Trying to cast a con another concentration spell. Okay, gotcha. Um, I'm gonna try to attack this guy since he's not currently entangled, so he could actually get away from me if he wanted to. 
Sure. So, and that is, let's see, my quarter staff should now actually have Shillelagh on it. So, uh, Jack. Heck yeah. Uh, 23 will will connect. I hope. <laughs> and then damage God with didn't I cry. Nine uh, damage. For nine. Okay, smack good. him! Uh, so yeah, you smash this guy up against... Uh, well, where are you aiming? Yes, um, I would be going for like where the the chin meets the neck. Like mm -hmm. from from this side. Like, kind of smacking him so that when I hit him, he smacks against the wall. Mm, okay, very good. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, as you strike uh, this guy, it will um, collide collide with the wall. Uh, but you do so in a way that connects with, like, the lower jaw, dislodges that jaw. Uh, mm. It will have a hard time of uh, clamping onto you with its teeth, but it um, doesn't seem like that's going to stop him. He's still standing, but he is definitely hurt. Nice. Anything else? Um, it's a bonus. That is an action. Well, that's all I got. Um, other than, and undead don't really care if you yell at them. Um, <laughs> yeah, intimidate them. Not particularly. Well, you're so if scary. I, if I could, like, I don't have. Yeah, no, that's all I got. I try and get the attention of the other guys, but I can't. They won't. They won't care. <laughs> Alrighty. That's it. Uh, very good. Uh, it takes us to Mora. Mora, passive perception. Uh, you would uh, recognize some of these clothes from um, Sedan. It seems to be like standard Sedan. Uh, I'm an attire. Interesting. Okay, well, my shield is two. gone. Yeah, you've got two. Two on you. Um, first question. If I were to go up 10 feet in the air, could I jump over this guy right here to the right of me? Or no? 15 feet foot ceilings. Or 10 feet. Uh, jumping up, I would say, yeah, you could just get out of melee, but you would be in melee up until that point. Well, no, I have a spell that would negate that, so that's not even the... I'm asking if I could actually physically do it. Standing jump to get over him? No, no, no. I have I have a bonus action of tempestuous magic. It lets me whirlwind gust of air up to the 10 feet, and it wouldn't... It would get me out of any attacks. Um, I was just curious if I could actually get over him or not. Yes, 15-foot ceiling would, uh, would be... Okay. Good but... I think I'm going to be risky like Swamp, but I don't know that. But I'm going to do, first of all, <laughs> bonus actions, my temptuous magic to do the whirling gust of elemental air. I'm going to go back um, 10 feet, obviously, without provoking opportunity attacks. Would that count for me moving up or just moving over or just up? And then I'll cast a first level. Uh, spell. I mean, it doesn't okay. specify. It doesn't. Yeah. Uh, um, if it uses movement, it just says you can fly up to ten feet without provoking an opportunity attacks. So you don't have flying speed, so yeah. I would say it would yeah, it would move you up to the ceiling, and then uh, from there it would, it would be kind of up to you what you want to do. Okay, I just want to move to here, okay. and then do burning hands. I'm sorry, I got rid of that again. I always mess that up. I was trying to do a cone that would hit the three guys here with burning hands. Um, plausible. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah, I would say. Like yeah, I would say that's 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 plausible. 
So uh, suck it in. Um, but okay. Uh, so burning hands is DC thirteen dexterity saving throw. Mm-hmm. Fail, fail, fail. You just see Moira get shot up in the air with this random gust of wind and jump back slightly and then put her hands up right in front of these three guys and go, please burn. <laughs> uh, first Two one will fail. No. The other two Okay, then the other two succeed. just take half damage. Okay, go ahead and roll that damage. All right. Uh, 13, okay. All right, so... Uh, I, oh, I'm sorry. Nope, that didn't work. I got there. <laughs> uh, thirteen will say uh seven. Uh, this will take the full 13 and will collapse. Oh! Yeah, he left mush all over the ground. I know, gross. Clean up after yourself. <laughs> that'll end my turn. That'll end your turn, okay. You still have some movement if you'd like. It's fine. All right, very good. Uh, Salix brings it up to the top of the order. Which Lovely. Totally roasted. <laughs> <laughs> so, in my current position... Yes, this would be this this is a zombie dude right here would be uh uh something within melee uh, within yes yes within melee but uh he'd be surrounded isn't the right word but flanking yes flanking yes. you get a okay. plus two on your attack okay okay cool cool so i am going to uh Take another slash with my uh, with my flaming sword, my flame blade. Uh, so that that would make it a twenty. Um, and actually, uh, that 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 was one of the things that uh, was attached to the uh, inactive effects that uh, someone. Just uh, got rid of, uh, but I, I, but I your, didn't get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, but your calculation should uh, should should remain in there. So let me let me add that to you at least to you two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but okay, uh, yeah, twenty twenty will connect. Go ahead and roll your damage. Holy cow! Fifteen. Yeah, Christmas. Get it. Uh, that'll take Bye -bye. it down. So it just just uh, as you slash across it. Just engulfs in fire and, and drops to the <laughs> ground. Um, yeah, that uh, that 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 easily, fire, easily good took, boys. took him out. You've got one more <laughs> that seems to be uh, up in the doorway. Uh, but what would you like to do? Um, I am going to. I'm gonna. Mm, mm, I'm going to move here just for just to make it difficult for people to see into the room. No, um, yes, that is exactly <laughs> what that does, at least for Draco. It's OK. Draco. I still haven't seen into the room at all. You know, <laughs> it's just a bunch of vines. It's don't worry about it. I mean, I'm whatever happens is reasons. on you. <laughs> I'm just going to move here for reasons yes. and uh, Oh my god. Uh sounds sounds good. Draco, uh yes, uh, just just beyond uh this undead that's in front of you. Uh you still see the vines uh, with the light movement. You can't see much past it. Uh what would you like to do? The other two have have dropped that are around you. So I've noticed my friends being pyromaniacs. <laughs> fire, yes. Seems to yes. We're all fired up I've, today. Dracos just looks back and forth as the two drop the zombies in front of him using various <laughs> forms of fire. And he's like, When in Rome? <laughs> Sadly, I have no forms of actual fire, so I'm going to cast Tasha's Caustic Brew. Uh. 
<laughs> which will throw a stream of acid 30 feet long in front of me and five feet wide in the direction of my choice, which is going to be straight ahead. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, let me get let me get a, let me get a ruler just so you, uh, everyone is. is, is Are the vines gonna stop? Oh, so that help, I hope Swamp is off to the side. <laughs> I don't remember now. Yeah, I have no idea. I've never seen uh -oh. Swamp in there. Yep. Uh, no, I don't. No, uh, I don't know if anyone has seen Swamp. Uh, I can't recall. Uh, but uh, I really hope Draco's... I only assume based on what I know. Yeah. <laughs> based on what, what what you can see I right know. now. Yes. You heard me. <laughs> All I know is you're All in the room. All we heard was heard. Uh, so everything that is uh, within that uh, that area uh, that has been uh, conveniently put down for us, uh, we will uh, roll a, a four, uh, DC 14 dexterity saving throw. Uh, Which I need to roll as well. Right, I yes. Assume. Oh, lovely. Oh, no. Um, friend inspiration, but would we be able to? Nope. Ah, you can't see her sorry. right now. Salix can't see. Uh, Draco, what Draco can't see. That far. This swamp is on doing? fire. The swamp is melting. Um, <laughs> I understand. Yes. So, uh, I would say, oh, actually, uh, let me re roll. Okay. All right. So uh, all uh, well, the, the the zombie that you can see, uh, the undead that you can see, uh, is going to fail that. Um, I think uh, uh, audibly it would be known that uh, the the next one is going to fail as well. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. Five. <laughs> and this I'm happens crispy. every turn. That's... Oh, I'm crispy. Eight, eight was the max, so you got decidedly yeah. average. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Ow. Just <laughs> a little bit. It's just five Friend, points. Womp. Be careful of the acid. Be careful of the acid. <laughs> no, he right tells out. us. Uh, <laughs> I need a I need a concentration check. Swamp. Next time you can be like four. Uh, nine will fail. You are no longer concentrating. Vines uh, disappear. Um, that makes sense. I just got hit with acid. I can't concentrate. I Ow! The shroom Ow. is burning. I suggest ah. you use your next turn to get rid of said acid. Ah. How does one get rid of acid? What do you do? Water skin? That's, or dirt on question. it? You can what use an it? action to get rid of it. Okay. Um. So, uh, real quick, uh, Vines... Uh, from from those who can see, it, which would at least be, uh, I would say everyone, everyone to the south would be able to see this. The vines would uh, disappear after the uh, the acid has uh, been sent in. Yeah, all of my vines like curl up and wither and go. Argh. My people. Oh, what about the shrooms? Uh... They're what's important. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, Draco, anything else from you? I don't think I can use extra attack because I use the spell, so... Yes. If that was an attack, uh... I mean, technically it was an attack. Yeah. <laughs> attack if it was an action, action, then you have bonus action and stuff. If you have Yay. any options. Yay, then I lightning launcher again. Is that really a bonus action? It's not a bonus action, it's an action. I have extra attack, so if I attack once, I can attack again. What? Yeah. This thing. Lightning That's wild. Um, Draco and I do still have flanking applied to us, by the way. I don't know if that... I don't think it were... Oh. It's supposed to be there. Oh, uh, that, well, I don't know if don't spell know. is... Okay, I don't know actually how that works then. Hope the 15 would hit. I think it does. I thought a 13 hit. Oh, uh... 
you've got a bot in your Twitch chat there. You know, I okay. I was just talking to Luna about that. I don't know how to. <laughs> I'm I'm if, I'm hovering over it, and it doesn't give me an option. It just gives me an option to pin or uh, reply. I don't know how to get rid of it. You have to. Uh, um, you should be able to like dash ban it. Yeah, you can slash ban or slash yeah. Um, but you right click on the name. The climax guy. I can block oh, him. Oh yeah. no. It's guy. Oh. Uh, Climatic Dynasty. I can block him. Yeah, can you do that? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I, don't know how to do I would do it if I were a mod, but I'm not. So. <laughs> Did it block? I don't know. I mean, you can block it, but I tried. Still, Did it do it? You should just be able to click on the name and. Yeah, I clicked it on him, and it and it had follow whisper or three dots. So I clicked on the three dots, and I said block. Yeah. yeah, that just blocks him for you. I'm not. Yeah. Okay, I think I, think I got rid of it. I think I got rid of it. Thing, yeah. Apologies. Uh, also, Twitch is not self explanatory. Yeah, that. yeah. Also, thank you, uh, Uncle Jimbo, uh, for the uh, for the raid. Appreciate that. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to watch chat while while DMing. Uh, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen connects. Beautiful. Kill it. Kill it with I not die. fire. Lightning. Boom. Lightning. It's it's like electric fire. Yes. I know. <laughs> I, I love lightning. And uh, it kind of sizzles the acid. You see like sparks kind of fly around. Uh, yes. yes it, Burn uh, for my electric fury. Yes. It, okay, calm it down. It drops pretty easily. <laughs> uh, but now you don't really see much of anything in front of you. What would you like to do? Walk forward into the room. Go where no man has As you where see no nothing, robot, just you have no dark vision. Before. Okay, that's fine. I would say you get that far and you bump into something. Probably. <laughs> Swamp? Prince Hello. Swamp, is that you? I found you. You've been hearing me yell this whole time. But why did you hit me with acid? I can't oh. see you. Is this you in front of me? If you can hear someone, assume they are there. <laughs> oh. Right. You have working ears built in, what right? What is that? I don't understand what this is that I've seen. Uh, yes, that is it. That is wacky. Ignore that. I don't. I don't. Hey, know. hey, 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 Cool. Um, all right, Fun. that's Draco. That's Draco's turn. Uh, undead uh, uh, are gonna do stuff. Uh, so they don't have any targets to the south. Uh, at least uh, uh, they they had. We're hiding very well, Salix. Good job. Acid <laughs> is not fun. I don't like acid. Uh, okay, so this guy is uh, no longer restrained. So I can take that off. I can take that off of this guy as well. Uh, these two. Uh, we got one slam from the left. 11. 11 will miss. Uh, slam from the right. 18. Mm -hmm. 18 connects. Okay, so uh, do reactions work just whenever they try to attack? Uh, rea yeah, reactions are based on uh, varying things, but yes, one of them would be. All right. Attack. It usually says in the description. I get to react with my halo of spores. Get spored. Well, that <laughs> moves into your space within 10 feet of you or or, or starts turn. Okay. So, or starts turn with the So Yes, that could have happened at any, any point. Very lucky it said that start turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Which but, I guess I could use at the beginning of my turn. Yeah, but, it uh, could have it could have happened at any point, uh, technically. Yeah. I mean, if you use it now, then like you don't have to use it on your turn, so you have more things to do. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's gonna roll uh, a five, so uh, five bludgeoning as uh, uh, righty righty over here okay. uh, is gonna attack you. Okay. Um, the dude to the south is gonna attack with advantage. Uh, as it swings Ouch. around and uh, tries to 
tries to swipe at Draco. Draco, you feel something brightly uh, brush up uh, over your head. <laughs> Prince Swamp, was that you? Did you attempt to pet again? There's no vines. You can see me. Uh, I can't no, see anything in this room. Vision. Swamp, I can't see turn. anything in this room. <laughs> some uh, some idiot plant moved I light. can see. I would not try to hit you. <laughs> when you I find heard. an artificer to upgrade their eyes, stat. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. I would and love if, for if, that. You if never know. You to upgrade your artificer. auditory and visual receptors. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I can hear fine. I can't see anything in the dark. I don't know that you can. <laughs> uh, Swamp, it is your turn. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, let's do, right quick, let's do the damage for Halo Spores. Because they have all started their, their turn here. So, two damage to all three of these nonsense men. So, I don't like them. Let's see. Um uh, okay, so that's just an auto. Auto uh yeah. okay, very good. If I have spores. Oh gosh, <laughs> what is going on? Do I have Nemlock put on or something? Alright, there we go. It's plus two or minus two for you. Uh, minus two for you. And minus two for you. And then we are going to do some Wither and Bloom. Get your bingo cards, everyone. <laughs> um, so, death and life upon a 10-foot radius. So, um... Yeah, the three, three around you. Yep, are going to take 2d6 of necrotic damage on a failed save. And then one creature of my choice can spend and roll an unspent hit dice uh, to get uh, oh, healing. And that's going to be me, I think. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Draco. I no, I figured that was going to happen. <laughs> I spent that's... acid on her. What do you expect? <laughs> They, you well, they've also been punching me a lot. So you spit acid on me, and I've been punched. <laughs> you also have not gotten rid of the acid. <laughs> that is true. Oh yeah, that is a thing. Draco, does the acid move with you, or are you technically in the acid at this point? It only stays on the targets. It doesn't, to my knowledge, as far as I'm reading this, it does not um, stay in the ground. It just says. It's on them. Each creature. Yeah, it's on them, not on the okay. ground. Okay, I got you. Uh, very good. It says a creature covered in acid takes 2d4 of acid damage at the start of each of its turns. So, see, at higher levels, I don't know if I'm at a higher level or not. How does this work? Uh, spell slot of third level or higher, the damage can increase. I'm trying to figure out if this increase, if the, I'm reading the Wither and Bloom thing and I'm having trouble understanding. Okay. Uh, taking 2d6, uh, necrotic damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. What's your issue? It says underneath, at higher levels, when you cast a spell using a slot of third level or higher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did so, you do that? Did you do so? I don't know how to do that. Oh, yeah. When uh, <laughs> when you cast a spell, it, it will ask if you are upcasting it, basically. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's a okay. different it's a different wording but that's what it means like what like what's oh. what spell level are you yeah. casting that so the way you casted this one in particular was at your regular level as far as i can tell okay so how do i do the hit dice thing to get healing hmm yeah so uh in your character sheet 
Mm -hmm. um, you would go into short rest, click the short rest button underneath hit dice, uh, and don't click the is a new day and just roll roll the dice there. Okay. So that are I think that automatically did it. Pretty sure. Uh, I don't know. Uh -huh. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Well, if you're Pretty higher six, than you were before, I was at 30. Now I'm at 36. Uh, there you and go. I can spend one, uh, roll one of its unspent hit dice and regain the number of hit points. So, uh, yeah, you rolled, uh, wait. I rolled a six. I've been only taking five, um, damage at a time and I was at 30. So, uh, for science, uh, go ahead and roll it again just to see if it automatically okay. does it. Yes, it does. Nope. Okay. Yeah, oh, it, yes. yeah, it okay. automatically does that. Okay, cool. So let me change that back to 36 then. Yeah, cool. and then uh, I'll go into your to your hit dice and add uh, an additional one. Uh, very good. Why does it keep saying saving throw? Yeah, there? I don't know. Uh, I'll have to look into that. I'll look into that during the break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a few things that aren't working uh, as they should be right now, so. Uh, anything else, Fop? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, let me uh, let me say uh, two will fail the uh, the uh, the the uh, mm -hmm. wither and bloom. Um, one one will make that safe. So go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, oh right. Watch. Uh, <laughs> we said to go through all of that and then not do any damage. Yeah. Uh, if I try to move. Well, uh, let me let's do this first. Oh, uh, this guy nice. will go down. Uh, Yay. Minus uh, four for this guy. This guy is still standing. Uh, this guy will take half damage. So minus, minus two. Uh, but you do have uh, you do have a, a dead a dead body here. Uh, you are free to uh, move, but it uh, you do in, uh, potentially incur an attack of opportunity for moving away from melee. Well, that's what I was thinking. But you can move over here. You can... Well, yeah. If you move here, you won't incur that penalty. Uh, you can move here and only incur one. If you move here, you only incur one. Or you move, like, completely out of this room and you incur both. It's up to you. Okay. Good. I completely Bob forgot is... I had rock this entire time. <laughs> Swamp yep. is now questioning whether or not she should be moving out of the line of sight of the door just in case Moira and or Salix pull another acid trick and... I mean, she already has acid room. trips covered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, does Rock have dark vision? It does have dark no. vision. No. Uh, according to my notes, it does have dark vision. Should it not? Does it? Uh, I thought. Because you can't see through it. So no. just, yeah. that's hilarious though that it has dark vision. I'm just gonna say that it does not, and uh so you hopefully should Ooh. well actually uh hold on, don't click it. Don't click it yet. <laughs> Why I just forgot I have him. Or rock. Uh, Unloved just sitting on my back the entire time. Unwanted. Okay. Now Rock's just getting a break. Yes. So uh <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to uh, uh, hold on. What, oh, there it is. Let's kind of like move it like on you. Yeah. You should you should be able to see it there. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Very good. Uh, Swamp, you have moved uh, a smidgen. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Um. I think that's all I can do right now. So no. Mora, uh, Draco has uh, moved into the room blindly. As far as you can see, you can just he's oh. just kind of like wandering yeah you can see like his foot his feet are just kind of like scraping the air hoping to find something as he walks like a dog with socks on <laughs> <laughs> well, i'm gonna oh i can already see from right here who would have thought uh yes and you would see swamp you would see directly you see two one dead and i'm not sure if there's any more in there even though i could keep track for me Seems but so. i wouldn't know but let's well we've killed three of two and uh technically four of two but you guys only know of three yes 
Well, okay. I we had we had seen more through the doorway. <laughs> yes. I Fire want to do acid splash on the two that I see. And it says that I can do one creature within range or two creatures within range if they're within five feet of each other. I'm assuming they're within five feet of each other. Come from Romoira, join the acid party. Yes, I am. <laughs> I saw that. Maybe next time, look before you throw. Yes? I only do what I am programmed to. Your program's whack, bro. He did look. It didn't provide a lot of data. He threw. He should have gotten more assumption. data. <laughs> my best assumption was friend Swamp was out of the way. I was wrong. To air is human. Oh, wait. To air is human. To error. Error. Error is robot. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. So they would need to pass a DC 13. Uh, well, hold up a second. Um, because you just uh, spurred a memory for me. Um, okay, so oh. let me reread this. Uh oh. Um. Uh, Draco, I'm gonna need you to roll a two d four, please. What? Okay. Oh my. Not because acid of me, damage. right? My oh. acid damage. Yes. Okay. We we forgot to we forgot to do that. I'm like I didn't even they didn't even throw what? <laughs> I was like I didn't mean to. <laughs> the panic. Sick. I don't know why that says my homunculus servant. Because you have uh, selected it. You have selected it. That's fine. Uh, all right, six. So uh, this guy will take uh, six. Uh, hey. Swamp, you're going to need to take six as well. Oh. <laughs> the hit points I just... Get, the, no, my temper... No. She's, <laughs> she's leveling out, man. I just got those. <laughs> I'm sorry, Francois. I was unaware of your presence. My guy. Uh, ignore that's that. Fair. Ignore that. That's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, Mora. Yes, acid splash yep. at the two boys. Uh, at the at the two. Okay. Uh, acid. So acid splash. You are a bubble of acid. Choose one. One creature you can see within or range. Or two within or range two. that are five feet. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, Gotta hit that rebound splash. Uh, dexterity saving throw from uh, both of them. Uh, both oh. will fail. Oh! Oh my goodness! Naked. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, I... both, both will fail. Oh. <laughs> Need two d six. Yes, that's right. Sweet. Uh, seven. Okay. That's the low. Well, not the lowest, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You could have rolled a two. I Mind just, you. I just acid, show up in the uh, door, look at the whole situation, because I can actually, you know, see things and yeah. be like, what? And then I just throw this acid out of my hands. Here, have some of this. Mm. This will help. Figured you'd be like, no more acid. Yo, I can hardly, I see half a swamp, okay? <laughs> yeah, swamp's like leaning on the wall, being like, I don't like this. I don't <laughs> like it. It's not good. As far as I know, that could be another undead. Swamp might be a spider. I don't even know what's over there. I just see a this arm. I don't like it. Oh. Uh. Okay. And that'll good. that'll be it for my turn. All right, sounds good. Unless I can actually hold on, I still have some movement. Can I get next to Swamp and Draco, or on the left of Draco? Can I get through there or no? Yeah. Yeah. Then I'll get over to the left of Draco. Yeah, there's a little squishing involved. Like, excuse me, excuse me. I, I can't. I can't move. That's odd. Oh, because it's not your turn. Oh. <laughs> Try Sorry. Now. Try now. The door is mad. There is no door. <laughs> the door I, is mad. I broke the it's door. There. I couldn't like go. I had to do one at a time. It was weird. Uh, yes. Uh, it's uh, moving around corners. Uh, I yeah. did a here's Johnny moment and broke the door. And I, I brushed by Draco and I kind of look around like, what? Uh, say, Alex, it's your turn. Hello, friend Moira. I've I've moved into the uh, into the the doorway, so Draco uh, can finally see who's been who's been sh schmoozing. Who has who has petted um, him? Uh, is yes, who who is petting him? Good head yes. cats. I was like, that was such a kind caress. Friend <laughs> zombie. <laughs> such a kind caress. Somebody put that in quotes. Um. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I, I've forgotten what I was going to do now. Um. Oh dear. Uh, let's see here. 
Would my thorn whip be able to get past uh, Mr. Draco Boyo? Mm, that's a good question. McGee. Uh, let's take a look at, because uh, I don't think it should uh, matter. Now, who's in front of you? Get a long verify. fine light whip covered in thorns that lashes out at your command toward a creature in range. Uh, make a melee spell attack against the target. If the attack hits, the creature takes damage. Uh, if the creature's larger or smaller, you can pull it up to 10 feet closer to you. Spells yeah. damage, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we aren't, we, uh... aren't doing, uh, we aren't doing any like cover rules at this point. So uh, yeah, I would say you have line of sight, uh, especially since your eyes are in the tree and uh, the tree is elevated in some fashion. <laughs> I would say you have line of sight, uh, so you can go ahead and do it. One thorn whip coming along. Twice seven. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Are you joking with your thorn whip, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking he Indiana thorn, Jones up in here. I never knew Wally was such a good whipper. This is how I. This is how I. Uh, don't don't say that. Again. Um, this is I how I ended the last fight as well. <laughs> yes, it is. So I don't know what. Um, the, I don't know what the appropriate term for someone who uses a whip is. Uh, uh, mm, yeah, there isn't one. I don't. Yeah. I know. I. Yep. <laughs> I just want to touch that. Um, so uh, <laughs> I believe uh, the damage button has been replaced with the critical button, but you can go ahead and roll your damage. But um, has, again, yeah. because you're 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 whipping this creature, uh, you've got line oh. of sights. So you're kind of going over top of Draco. I, I I just need to get a grasp of the visual. Like, what do you what are you trying to accomplish here as you as you strike? Um. I, I whirl it in, uh, the, vine, the vine lashes out above Draco, and uh, comes down with a loop at the end to kind of wrap around the zombie's neck and head. In more of a choking fashion. Yeah, yeah, kind of a, a choking, but obviously there's thorns, so it's a, a extra unpleasant choking. Yes. Well, because there's there's two there's two pieces of this. I would imagine the the one whip is more more of like a strike, uh, but then you do have the ability to drag it closer to you if if I would uh, yeah how it's worded if if you were to choose so so you could you could loop around it grab it and and pull it. What what mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. what is it here? You're, you're you're trying to like kind of like choke it in place. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Get get the thorns all in there nicely, and and maybe give it a good yank using. Um, That's who I was looking for. Using uh, Draco as like a you know using Draco's back as as uh, like a pulley almost. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you will uh, you will grab a hold of this thing. You will uh, kind of choke it, kind of almost like lift it up in the air as you do as you as you pull it close using Draco as leverage. Um, and then it, uh, oh, no. it, it, it'll, it'll drop as you let go with your thorn up, it'll <laughs> drop in place and, um, we are out of combat. Yay! Nice. Friend, uh, I, I, I would help. just, <laughs> friend Swamp, allow me to aid you with my help. acid. Help. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Help. Help! It, uh, I like I can't. I like reach out my arms and go ah. My <laughs> friend Moira, can you conjure water? Uh, no, what? I have a water. I have I have Why? water things. What, what are they called? Water bottles, water skins. I can control weather. Yeah, that's not I have gonna. Water I mean, skins. that includes water, so that's why I was asking. Yeah, control weather is like I super powerful, and we'd have to be outside, you know. And yes, we all have water skins. <laughs> I have. I have. I have no I, water skin. I have no need for such a thing. You're right. I, I, I gave my, my three water skins. Yeah, I like, gave a bunch to Swamp because I had like four. <laughs> yeah, I pull out my water skins and I'm like struggling with the the uh, quirk. So like, yeah. I Do you want one of my four potions over. of healing? <laughs> Why do you have so many? I bought a bunch, okay? I had money. I knew we'd need it. Do you want a potion of healing? I have one. Why were you in the way of the acid? Haven't I didn't wow. know that wow. I didn't think you were going to use acid, so I didn't know I was in the way. All right, I'm going to turn. I'm going to level. I'm going to look straight into Draco's eyes. Draco. Next time, it's highly recommended that you actually see where you're aiming. Before you throw, okay? Okay. Do you what need I'm more water? Here. 
what I'm envisioning here is you've grabbed his face with your <laughs> your hands on either side of his cheeks, and you've like tilted his his snout down so he's uh -huh. looking up at you with his eyes, and mm -hmm. you've just pressed your forehead against him, and you're like staring. Just going for it. exactly in the eyes like you would with a dog. Yes, exactly. <laughs> But the result was positive. No, the result was not. You hurt Friend Swamp. <laughs> friend Swamp is strong. She can. You take hurt it. Friend Swamp. You have no. You have no faith in Friend Swamp. That is not the point. <laughs> uh, it takes well, an well, action. They argue. Uh, just real quick, it takes an action to uh, get the acid off. Uh, okay. Off of we're out of combat, so I don't mind using an action. <laughs> yes, uh, Salix, you 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 had something. Yeah, well, well, they argue. Is there anything left that could potentially be looted? Because that's the kind of person I am. Um. Well, you're not a person. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. That's the variety of tree that I am. Yes. Um. I would say. Uh. No. No. There's nothing just... here to be to be looted. Uh, they are up wearing some dead goop and stick it in my pot for fertilizer. I don't know. Mm. Uh, <laughs> if that is the uh, want, <laughs> then yes, yes. Uh, yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it is a wonderful <laughs> idea. I appreciate it. There we go. I don't know what what good that does me. Maybe. Uh, I don't know what good that you does and me. I I'm should sure for sure something. talk fertilizer sometime, my guy. Oh my god. <laughs> You're coming TED Talk with Swamp and Salix talking fertilizer and water I mean, treatment plants. Uh, uh, gross dead things and like rot and stuff. Is I'm walking out of the room. Full. I, what? Hey, <laughs> come back. It's good. You want to talk about mulch? <laughs> I can't hear anything anymore. Moss is really it. good too. Oh. I, hey, okay. <laughs> like um, s s making sure there's no more acid on me while I'm talking about mulch. Yes, actually, uh, okay. Or before before we move move forward, sorry, sorry, sorry. I had a character sheet open. And I wasn't realizing you guys were moving. Um, <laughs> let's let's go ahead. You guys are uh, all all kind of moving moving out, um, and we will uh, let's take a a quick a quick five minute break. To be clear, before Great. before the breaking happens, just, yes. just to make certain, there's no details of anything in the room. It's just an empty room. There's nothing to like look at or anything, right? No, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's no a good money question. on the bodies. No uh, femurs you can keep. Yes. Let's uh, <laughs> let's let's take a room of pain. Let's take a step <laughs> back. Got any gold so, fillings? A room of acid trips. <laughs> no. Um, no. <laughs> I'm 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 not gonna have you roll, but what what I will say is that uh, you guys would uh, get the impression, uh, the fact that there this like there was no like chains or anything like of the sort, like it didn't seem like a prison. It did, there was no sarcophagus. It didn't seem like this was like a tomb of some kind. Uh, but you do have the impression, uh, based on uh, previous statements, that there is a necromancer about that is turning these dead bodies into undead. The dead bodies that are collected by that dude, uh, by the uh, the construct in the other room, the cadaver collector. Um, you would uh, probably get the idea that this is maybe a staging area. It's right next to the main doors that lead down to um, the uh, teleportation circle. If they've got access to the teleportation circle sigils from up above, traveling from that to Sedan would just take a few hours. So doing it at night, uh, you know, could get to Sedan within like two and a half, three hours for, for an undead. Uh, so it would kind of make sense that this would be like kind of like a staging center. Okay. Zombie storage. Basically. Um, actually, actually, actually. Uh, I, I will ask for a roll here. <laughs> oh. Um, I think, I think perception is fine. That was fancy noise. Mm -hmm. That's how I you know I've asked, I've requested a specific roll. 23. What the heck? I rolled, and 20. it's not there. It is not there. I don't see it. 
I right. literally clicked it at the same time, and then Salix has popped up and not mine. And I don't have an option to do it from there, so I have to redo it on my own. We'll never know what that role was. Yes, it probably was. It could have uh, been great. Decent. Yeah, probably was. Yeah. Decent. Perception? Yeah. Yeah. God. <laughs> it was probably amazing. It was definitely great. It was at least a 20. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Why 20, are we all getting such good rolls? 20, 23. <laughs> I probably had a good one, too. Uh, okay. <laughs> The other thing that you guys uh, would notice uh, as you I'm are looking look at the air. No, I would say this is a general thing. You guys are noticing and saying out loud as you uh, as you see it. Uh, there is an oddity to these bodies. And you didn't really notice it in the heat of battle, but now that things have quieted down, uh, it seems rather obvious to you guys. And that is the chest cavity of these bodies, uh, those that don't have coverings of some sort, um, is open. The, those that do have cloth over top of it, you, uh, you, you pull it to the side, uh, with a, with a staff or a foot or whatever. Um, but yes, uh, it appears the chest cavity is open. The heart is gone. And it is noticeable that small shards of crystal, crystal-like material, can be seen uh -huh. inside of the body. Does the it body look anything like the crystal again. we saw in the cave? Well, similar. Oh, that, that. Yeah, adjacent, adjacent to that. Like they were mining it, and it's being used for nefarious purposes. Yes. Might I take the crystal? Oh my God! Uh, no, I'm, it's I'm uh, shards, shards of crystal. Yes, I mean you could like reach in and pull out. They're 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 small. It's like, um, does it that's, look that's just for research at the guild? Uh, understood. So understood. 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 Uh, let me say this. Uh, let's let's go ahead and take a five minute break, and then we'll come back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say we need. We're gonna keep going. We'll come back and more crystals attack us. I claim no fault. <laughs> As the one doing it, I think mm -hmm. uh, you have to claim the fault. By the way, Moira, uh. Jesse James Games in uh, in Beard's YouTube chat said that he can confirm you rolled a twenty. He went back and watched it frame by frame. I knew it! I saw something with a two! Why didn't it go? <laughs> That's so rude. I call hacks. I'll be right back. I'm actually going to take a quick break this time. I, I never do. So thank you for watching that. <laughs> I'm putting up a BRB screen on mine. Yep. I could put up a BRB screen, but nobody would see it. Bye, that sounds like chat. it's fun. Everybody go walk around. <laughs> they can't hear you. You can. You're the important one. Go. I'm chat. Around. Whoa. Uh, Mind blown. You know how to Google how to spell caress? I had no idea. I'm back.
I have returned. As have I. Cool. Uh, so where there's, there were some other things that I need to look into, so uh, not everything is working uh, appropriately. Uh, let me go ahead and open up this. See any errors, though? Um, I've got some visual issues that are occurring um, in that um, I'm not seeing the blood splats. Are you guys seeing the blood splats? Um, they're very light. They're honestly like gray. Yes. I see that as well. Like this one directly below me looks like a gray or beige stain. Uh, did that just change it for you no it's still the same color uh, okay cool yep, it's getting darker all right still not blood but it is darker interesting Uh, the other thing is that's not working for me is right clicking to get out of a token. I have to hit the escape button to do it. I can do it out of mine, but. It's really strange. Uh, so yes, I'm sure there's some buggy bugginess happening. Let me look at what is. Con oh, you got big. Did you delete something? What? Oh, yep. I was trying to look at something. I accidentally hit the delete under one of the inactive effects. Okay, don't do that. Don't do. I'm that. sorry. I didn't don't, mean to. Don't do that. Uh, okay, I'll bring you back down. I'll try to figure out what uh, my right click issue is. Um, oh. Is everyone else back? Well, I assumed because everybody was unmuted and undeafened that they were back. Yes, I assume that's a, a good assumption to make, but you know, you know that, that thing. I'm coming. I'm on my way. Don't worry. <laughs> From far away, downtown, do here comes again. Wally with his tree. Hello, I am here. I have returned. <laughs> Wild. Right. I apologize. Yeah, you're good. I decided I wanted cheese crackers and mm -hmm. the wife was napping on the couch. Baby was napping in the bed. Baby woke up. It was great. Like He woke up very happy. He had a good nap. It's late for a nap, but it was a good nap, so... 
Uh, I can't say anything. I'm meaning cash shoes. <laughs> cash your shoes? Cash shoes. Moira's ears perk up. What now? Cash shoes. Cash, you say? Yes, cash, 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 cash That's money. Mm. Money does why, drive you nuts, yes. Why are you eating salty? Because I like salt. Hmm. Yes. Salt's good. I like salt, I like spice, I like savory, I like umami. Oh. Gonna have but to not, tell Salty that you eat him. But not the fifth one. Not I don't know how salty bitter he's gonna or, feel. Not a fan of bitter or sour. And for those confused, oh, yeah. I actually know someone named Salty. That's what I'm referring to. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I did know that, actually, yes. I'm, yeah, still, I'm still trying to get the reference to whatever umami is. Cause that uh, umami is umami is a flavor, flavor. yeah. It, what is it? What what's yeah, that yeah. flavor? Soy sauce. Umami is just like flavor. Like there's no good definition for it. You have salt. You have sweet, bitter, sour. Ah uh, yes, spicy. the uh, the yes. Every language has a, a better it's understanding like a of savory words than, than English. Yes, it's like a savory <laughs> thing. You feel it a lot with like steak and some soups and ramen. Hmm. That savory broth you just want more good. of. Mm. It's uh, M MSG actually is oh. like pure umami. Yeah. MSG. Yes. Okay. So yeah, yeah your your ramen. The taste of amino packages. acids and nucleotides. Whatever it contains a protein that's essential nutrient to survival. Umami is just savoriness. Well, but it's different than savory. It's savory adjacent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I feel like we've got everyone back. Um, okay. So uh, you guys have taken out these undead. Um, you get the impression, uh, based on just kind of observing the situation, this is more of a staging area. Uh, so again, if this was a, a necromantic uh, guy, who is uh, instilling life into these things and then sending them to done? This would be a good location for it. Could send them right to the surface, and then head uh, head head right to Sedan within a couple of hours uh, at night. Would make sense with the timing of the attacks. Uh, but there is a key piece that is interesting, and that is that uh, it seems like uh, there is some crystallization that has happened to uh, the inner organs of these things the heart appears to be missing on uh two of them now this crystallization isn't affecting every single one of them but just two in particular heart is missing crystallization of the rest of the organs uh mora you had noticed before that uh sedan style clothing uh, mm -hmm. was was on some of these uh these guys and those seem to be the common denominator. That Sedan people have crystal hearts. Knew it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or um, <laughs> you oh. also, uh, uh, because we've we've rolled that six before. Uh, you guys would recall. Oh, yeah. You guys would recall of something happening in uh, Hovestad. You bet I recall it. Uh, hey. <laughs> uh, a half, uh, an elf, no, a half elf, I think, uh, uh named Val, uh, had uh, committed some murders and yeah. had fled. And, um, uh, no one knows, uh, location yet, but, um, the, the murders were, uh, interesting in that the hearts were removed uh organs were crystallized this would be in your your reports things that you guys would be aware of in general uh which uh suggests that uh the same thing is happening over here except that two bodies here uh wearing sedan uh type attire clothing bought in sedan at least um yeah, we're killed and hearts were removed and all that that sort of thing. It's funny. I in that general talk a few 
days ago and I asked about a certain character, that's who I was asking about. I couldn't remember the name. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now I remember. Thank Res you. I responded as such at the time, but that's okay. I still couldn't remember <laughs> even if that was true. I thought you were messing with me. I'm just going to keep that information to myself right now and just be like, you know, this is really weird. Uh, well, these are the things that I think everyone would be kind of like aware of, like piecing, okay, cool. piecing together. I'm not sure. you, uh, you, your, your piece specifically is that uh, the two had to done clothing uh, or clothing that that could be bought, uh, brought, blah, bought and sedunned. Um, But uh, more of go ahead and roll me uh, just a. Uh, no, no, we'll, we'll retain we'll retain this in the, in the existing perception check, assuming that Jesse James games in our live chat is correct, that it was a, mm -hmm. at least a 20. I um, swear I saw a two. <laughs> we'll say uh, that uh, there are similarities on that body to the two bodies that you saw the cadaver collector uh, pick up and impale the two survivors that you were looking for. Oh, Oh, shoot. Mm, with this realization, I'm just going to look at them and be like, guys, I think that, uh, well, not guys. I don't know. Draco didn't see it, did he? I just mean Swamp. I'm going to look right at Swamp's eyes and be like, Swamp, I'm pretty sure two of those guys that we burnt to a crisp um, were the dead bodies we saw on, the, on that construct we killed yesterday. Hmm. I don't like that. I know. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, so I feel better about killing that construct. Yeah. Um. There's. You said there's crystallized hearts. Can I? No. Can I? No. No. Two of the bodies had hearts removed. Mm -hmm. Organs oh. uh, of those bodies crystallized. Can I have? a look see at those more closely the ones um, that didn't get disintegrated <laughs> yeah again uh you would have the knowledge of the previous uh report of uh where 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 that has happened before mm -hmm. what would you like to to look at well i just i want to have a closer look at those and see if they because i have a small amount of knowledge of necromancy, not necessarily like a Ooh. lot, but some, and see if that the real bad that guy was sort of... swamp all along. Yeah, uh huh. Um, <laughs> see if that triggers any sort of knowledge in me at all. Okay. As what something what, what role uh, 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 seems appropriate? Um. That being also, why do you only have two uh, two items shipped? I feel like you should have more. Two what now? Uh, oh, proficiencies. Yes, I feel like you should have That's... at least at least four. I I have a lot, so I assume she needs don't... a lot. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that okay. later. <laughs> uh, um... But you should have at least gotten. Two, two with your class, two with your subclass. Uh, uh, I'm gonna. I don't have any plus anything, so I'm gonna do history. For, oh no, no, I don't know anything. I know nothing. Never mind. <clears throat> uh, Can I do me, Give me one moment. Give me one moment. Thinking maybe I could do an arcana. Mm -hmm. I have very high arcana, but I don't know if that. Do a plus four. I have a plus six. Yeah, Draco maybe. Uh, I'm gonna check for you, uh, Swamp. I'm gonna check athletics and survival. Oh, okay. Survival might, yeah. Okay, from your background. Um, okay. So some uh, background details uh, that you guys would be aware of this uh, that probably negates the need, need necessarily for that role. 
what was reported in was whoever was controlling um, or bossing uh, Val around uh, seemed to f fiendish or devilish in nature. Mm -hmm. uh, but what what she used to to do such things uh, was never never fully explained. Uh, so your your question is: Would a necromancer crystallize uh, body body parts? Right, that's your question. Yeah, and if I would know why. Hmm. Um, let's ignore that history check, and okay. we'll just say uh, from a straight uh, nature situation like it it seems kind of uh counterintuitive uh, i mean it uh let me uh, let me rephrase uh it it seems above and beyond normal c like usually necromantic things just bring the bodies back to life but in a certain state this seemed mm -hmm. like an extra step maybe right. taken before that happened could still be the mm -hmm. same guy could still be the same abilities but um it's yeah. weird yeah 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 it's just yeah i would say it's just it's just it's just kind of odd okay but it would suggest that um val or someone who is under the same uh control of val was is here or was here is involved in some fashion and on that note i will turn back on free movement you guys are free to uh continue down the hall i'm still walking ahead to avoid the stock of fertilizer <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Salix, let's, uh, let's mm -hmm. go ahead and roll a survival, please. Ooh, survival, survival, survive. Mulch. You've got some acid issues, uh, some, yeah. some burned issues, uh, in front of you, but, but... Oh gosh! That oh is no! A, Natural. That is a crit fail. I, I would say you, uh, you, oh. you, you get some of the burnt, uh, crisp ashes and and uh, supplant uh, that upon yourself in your pot, and you feel like that will probably that's that that'll probably do. It'll be fine. Yeah. What could go wrong? <laughs> Uh, this, this is brilliant, guys. <laughs> Mora has uh, Mora has walked ahead. Uh, Just a little is bit. everyone else walking? Fifteen ahead? feet, you know. Rico's kind of stuck in place, focused on the crystals. Oh goodness. Yeah. Oh goodness. Yeah, this is a little more important than your mulch. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, before we continue mm -hmm. to move, uh, the two that have so, uh, so uh, would suggest. Uh, Swamp. I I would say uh Draco uh it's a different quality. It's a different quality of crystal. It seems temporary. Hmm. Like it seems different in general. So while adjacent to the type of crystal that you saw in the cave, uh it just seems oddly placed, manufactured almost. Rico doesn't know why, yeah. but he stares at the crystal, transfixed by it. <laughs> oh, no. It's the same oh, feeling no. as the way he was in the cave when he just oh, no. didn't know why he wanted to grab the crystals. Um, um, I'm not and there, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. More... Swamp is talking to me, but. For some reason, I just want to reach hey, out, what? grab it. I mean, you and, can uh, feel free. Yeah, uh, if you I'm really a, want to grab one of these them. crystals, yeah. If you really I'm want to, thump but, them with my yeah. staff. Stop it! At, thump. Knock it off. Before, thump. as Swamp is poking me with the staff, 
I, I just mumble under my breath, shiny, glitter. No, not folks. What's wrong with you? Is he a broken? He's like hypnotized. Hello? Thump. Draco quack, just quack, what, quack. snaps out of it. Like, what? What happened? Are you okay? Prince hey, Swamp? Felix. Leader Swamp. Prince Swamp? What, what happened? Why would a robot be obsessed with shiny things? Is there a wire crossed? Unit is Draco he... is not a Drake, is he? Not? Oh. I'm just going to kind of turn back and be like, hey, you need obsessed with treasure later. There's like gore in here. Oh, all right. Come on. You can come back for it later. Okay, bud. Come on. Come on. Draco, that your prime directive of protection of those of this continent may require you to move forward. Draco's just really confused. He understands what's being said, and he's just really confused as to why he just said that. <laughs> uh, Swamp, I am moving you back uh, for a specific reason. Uh, there is a, uh, a, a bone <laughs> on the ground. It is a uh, look appears to be a uh, maybe a leg bone of some kind. Still has some cloth upon it. It, it has a thumb. You... Yeah, as you guys turn the corn, uh, turn, uh, actually, uh, enter into this junction, uh, mm -hmm. there are, are a few things that you would notice. Uh, A, to the south, double doors, mm -hmm. uh, wood, made, made out of wood. Uh, to the, uh, east, blood on the ground. Seems like footprints that are reddish in color. Bloody points. <laughs> and to the north up in this room, which Mora is, uh, has uh, begun to enter into the threshold, uh, there are uh, double doors here, but shattered. You can still see the hinges, you can still see the pieces, wooden, uh, actually uh, not wooden doors, uh, stone doors, like sandstone doors that have just been like demolished, laying on the ground, rubble is there. But in here, you would definitely notice there is bones there is blood stains and two chains attached to the walls here do we have been broken off don't like that potentially uh something was was attached here and has uh, broken loose or uh you know it's just uh chains that are just kind of kind of loose and just you know Damage with time, you know, who knows? I mean, my first thought would be this is where the construct was, but mm, this blood seems fresh, doesn't it? Mm. Or fresher. My question is the chains mm -hmm. are those chains that can only hold one thing or hold many things at once well the question is how long are you spending here to look at this are we going, are we going back to dungeon uh pacing where you guys are spending 10 minutes in this room to investigate or is just it's just, it's just a passive passive uh, i feel like cleanse. it's a passive like do i notice it have multiple shackles or not mm -hmm. okay uh go ahead and uh swamp please Please uh, just uh, stay stay put here for a second. Footprints. <laughs> yeah, yep. There's definitely footprints. Keep your hands there. and feet inside the vehicle with your party. Oh. Uh, all right. Footprints. Well, I'll we'll pause here for a second. Um, uh, Draco, uh, go ahead and roll a uh, perception check because you're not going into it. You fully look around. You're just kind of looking through the threshold. Can I aid him with that as well? Uh, well, uh, are you guys discussing it out loud? Is that? Is yeah, that I would be. Yeah. Okay, then you can roll at uh, advantage. Should roll one more time. Okay, I need to roll at advantage. Yes. Or... No, Just you roll, roll one more time. One more time. We'll take the highest. Rolled an eight so far. Mm -hmm. A twelve. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two shackles, two uh, manacle type uh, devices that seem to have. Uh, well, at least one of the chains still has them. Uh, but it's broken open. Like, it's it's open. 
The other one does so, not. Chain is a, a slightly shorter, from what you can notice. And there's yeah, there's a lot of bones uh, about, an obvious blood stain here. So it only could hold one thing, from what I'm understanding. Um, I would say you would get the sense, uh, if, well, the chains are rather large. Chains are rather large. Um, so if it was meant to hold only one thing, which would kind of make sense based on the largeness, the, the, the length of, of the chains themselves. Like, it's not like, you know, uh, multiple chains, like multiple manacle type type set strapped into the side of the wall just just these two chains that you can see so yes Lovely. It's i would huge. think yeah i would think you would get the sense that it is rather large okay then well that answers my question uh friend moira hmm. i believe whatever was trapped here was quite large yeah that's why i thought it was the construct there could be more but this blood seems rather fresh. I know. I'm worried it was bigger than the construct. Fair. I think that's all we're going to do here. Mm -hmm. I walk out of the room. Yeah, I think we're done here. Okay, so again, you're not you're not entering into the room. You're just kind of standing where, where you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not searching all these bones. Mm -hmm. All right, and real quick, Salix, as this is happening, uh, Swamp, as this is happening, uh, uh, at least Swamp, I know you're moving towards this direction. Uh, what? Salix, what are you, what are you doing? I, I Salix was also kind of moving in this direction, having seen what looks to be a prone figure at uh, way down the hallway. Mm -hmm. Yes, there, there, he is concerned that uh, it should probably be checked out sooner than later. <laughs> yes. Oh. Um, oh. Oh, that's oh. good. Oh, there's a person. Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. a, a person. I saw the footprints. I didn't see the poor person. All right. Well, hold, up. hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, Swamp, uh, <laughs> Salix, go ahead and roll perception checks. Uh, as Perception. you guys are just kind of scanning the room, seeing seeing the things that you see. <laughs> and can oh I, goodness, we're balancing out all of our good rules now. Person. At the same I time, I was going to check these doors to see if I hear anything. Not open them, just see if I hear. Perception. Okay. Hey, hey, that's what I'm talking about. 18, perfect. Anything behind these doors? Anything sus? All right, so we got a 16, we got a six. Uh, Salix, yes, dead body. Uh, Swamp, you wouldn't have noticed it at first. Kind of checking out these bodies. Um, or I'm sorry, you're checking out these footprints. Uh, the footprints seem mm -hmm. to kind of be going in and out of uh, the room to the south here. And as you get up over here, uh, seem to be uh, heading heading to the south there. The footprints, though, uh, are not uh, humanoid. Smaller. Well, let me take that back. There's a mixture. There's a mixture of humanoid and um, smaller. Uh, Salix, though, as you get up to the body, you can definitely mm -hmm. uh, tell it is, uh, in fact, uh, dead. <laughs> okay. But um, one thing you would notice is that um, uh, a lot of bruising, a lot mm -hmm. of uh, scars, not scars, uh, swelling and uh, puffiness like around the eyes. You can see like almost like blood kind of like dripping from, from the eye sockets, uh, ears. Mm. No, that's less than good. Some sort of like concussive force or whatever. Mm -hmm. Perhaps sound base. Yeah. Um. Do I have any idea of how like freshly dead this corpse may be? Yeah. Um. You are. 
proficient in survival. Go ahead and roll survival for me. Survival. Uh, that went so well last time. Hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, within the last ending. Okay. You can't necessarily pinpoint exactly uh, when, but yeah, you're pretty confident. It's like <clears throat> within the last ten day. These Not been long enough for like decomposition or whatever to set in, but uh, no, some rigor mortis probably, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, not not even any de decompose. Uh, de four to six uh, hours. Yeah, I would say these the footprints, uh, like the the red is staining the ground it's not as dark it's almost like a brownish and the footprints seem to kind of cover that that same thing so there's there's humanoid mm -hmm. footprints that are leading uh down to the south uh to the to the west <clears throat> uh but there's other sets of footprints that are that are here as well that seem smaller in nature Flawed. Hmm. It, is this the part where I ask if I can loot the body? Well, uh, there's there's uh, there's there's one additional detail here, and uh, this there is there an open door. Yeah, this one door is open. You're seeing like a lot of like dirt and stuff on the ground just past it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I is would it... say that uh, there is like a reddish brown dirt, just kind of like right, right in front of the dirt that seems to almost match the color, but you're you're unsure. You're unsure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but if you would like to search the body, you're free to do so. Yes, I I would like to search the body. All right, Mora, uh, for you. Uh, listening behind these doors and looking around the general area, these doors are made out of wood. Mm -hmm. Um, you are not, uh, you're not hearing anything with that eight, 18, uh, but just looking at the doors, it doesn't, you're not recognizing any, uh, locking mechanism. Uh, it seems like they're just doors like it's just just handles mm -hmm. like knobs that you can you can turn it doesn't seem like there's any lock to to them so it's possible okay. that they're open they're just open i'm not i'm not even going to bother my intent was just to make sure we're not going to get ambushed from behind without obvious signs yeah, you know there's no signs no footprints leading in or out of that yeah then that then i would head back over here to check out them and be like i think back there that door is fine okay i think uh, Svamp, you've been focusing now on these footprints. What would you like to do? It seems like they're kind of like going, going into this room. At least the 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 humanoid footprints are heading into this room. Uh, there is yep. uh, smaller footprints that seem to be going back and forth. Uh, well, seeing as how Salix has confirmed that 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 is not a living person, I think I would like to go into this door. Um, okay, it is uh, another wooden door. It has a uh, it has a uh, a handle. And I am being rather stealthy about it. Like, not super stealthy, but kind of like, eh, we good? Describe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, aye, aye, aye. You, like, are you trying to avoid uh, something in, in particular? I'm just, I'm not like barging in, you know? I'm just kind of like opening the door, kind of looking in first, and I'm being like, we, okay? All right. You know? Uh, okay, well, uh, stay put in here. Draco, is there something in particular you were doing? Uh, I saw Swamp go into that door, and I wanted to check this door because I see all the other footprints going in it, so I mm -hmm. want to make sure, see if anything is either in here, if I can hear anything from outside it before I open the door, that kind of thing. Okay, if you are trying to listen in to the other side of the door before you enter in, uh, go ahead and roll a perception. Svan. I don't appreciate that music change. It just got a little more intense. Yes. I love this song. It's a great song. <laughs> it's, it's a great song, but 
<laughs> Makes me nervous. No, it's good for investigating. Swamp, in the okay. meantime, um... Go ahead and, uh, roll... Um, just, a uh, straight d20. And that's that roll for me, too. I am not good at rolling. <laughs> What's the roll? A five. Five? That's awful. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. We can't, uh, at least no one here can see you. Uh, so the obvious uh, bits in this room is... Um... The smell is uh, a bit overwhelming as you enter it, and it just kind of hits you in the face as you open up the door. As you walk yeah. in, just kind of disregarding it, you know, because it's it's rot and, you know, mushrooms, they yeah. kind of carry the same smell. It's like whatever, I'll, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say uh, you, you obviously notice, like, the two bodies that are on the ground in here. Uh, blood has just dripped out of them. Uh, they are uh, obviously dead. It's kind of difficult to tell what the uh, wounds are. There is also uh, debris just kind of littering the floor in here, like old rotten clothes, it seems. It's kind of scattered uh, just everywhere. Uh, unrelated. Unrelated to these two bodies, but the two bodies, I think, would do, would stand out to you. Okay. Can I get Let's... a uh, constitution saving throw from you? I, I suppose. Mm. Does it smell that bad? 11. I'm not rolling well tonight. Well, you had physical dice, put it in dice jail. You feel, um, you feel like just uneasy, like the, 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 the dead bodies, the... The smell, like the smell is obviously coming from these bodies and you just feel a bit, a bit, a bit queasy, but it, it eventually just kind of goes away. Um, let's see, I have, what is it, what is it? let's see. Uh, not consume. I have gentle repose. Um. Gentle repose. You touch a corpse or other remains for the duration. The target is protected from decay and can't become undead. The spell also effectively extends. Uh, since. Uh, okay. Okay do that to these two yeah 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 let me... i just had a thought we did that before in another dune would that guy be waking up soon <clears throat> uh that that didn't actually um i've actually consumed the spell slot which i think i need to do so uh gentle repose is one creature so it would require two, two. uh yeah. yes however so. i would say i would say just basic uh understanding of the situation there's there's nothing pointing out to you specifically that these are on the verge to turn on undead oh, like, there's nothing in necessarily listen, in the atmosphere like, yeah who knows where this who knows yeah you know, you're right you're right you're right. I got an uneasy feeling. Mm -hmm. And she did just get a five. That's so true. That's she... true. You got an uneasy feeling in your in your gut. And I'm rolling back. <laughs> so it would require two two of those slots to do for both of them. Yes, I took I took two. Very good. Yeah. No more wither and bloom, folks. Take it off your bingo sheet. <laughs> okay. We've already got it on the bingo sheet. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, sounds mm -hmm. good. Uh, Mora, you have checked that room. You're venturing forward. Uh, I want to check this one that's north of me. <laughs> okay, yeah. in what in what capacity? Don't go in there. Again, just listening for anything. I know the feet aren't going into here, so I'm not going to try to 
look into it at all. Wow, but I just want to hear, see if I hear anything. <laughs> that was gross. Uh, so you're trying to listen into this room. Go ahead and roll uh, uh, perception. Um, we're going to advance this uh, this piece of it a bit. It's not just oh. a matter of listening and this is also like what you what you notice uh if mm -hmm. if your perception is better than your passive so, it definitely is better yes. than my passive <laughs> yes with the 22 uh you listen and you hear nothing it is silent mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's about what i thought the uh the door seemed uh definitely has a locking mechanism at, uh on it it has a a, a knob uh, but there's there's a keyhole. There's there's obvious uh, locking there. Um, it also seems to be uh, better maintained, maybe newly installed, mm. or at least recently installed um, within the last couple of months, po possibly. Got it. Uh, it's made out of wood. It looks a bit fresher, but uh, yes, it does seem. Uh, it does seem solid. It does seem probably locked from what you can tell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to even try. Uh, I'm not good at lock picking or anything like that anyways. So I'm just going to move up to the next door. On the left. And again, hopefully notice anything if it's locked or... Oh, it's, a, oh, it's, it's not a, a door. It's a hallway with the door at the end. Oh. Uh, Draco, uh, let me scroll up. You rolled a oh, cool. uh, seven. With your perception check, That's you been... hear maybe some sounds coming cool. from in there, but it's kind of hard to tell because, like, your your your, right. your party right. is like active. Like, Salix is like rummaging around with his body, and Moore is <laughs> like moving right next to you. Uh, Swamp has opened up a door and moved to the south, so it's hard to tell if you if the sound is coming from inside the door or or not. There's definitely so, footprints heading in, though, and out, to be fair. So, I'm going to do the smart thing that I should have done way earlier before, because I forgot I prepared this. Thank and you, I'm going to cast Dark Vision on myself. Oh, my God. You had it the whole... Okay. <laughs> exactly, Swamp. That's what I've been singing over here. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, I'm, go like so I'm going baby. to give myself Dark Vision. How long does it? Oh, eight hours. That's nice. That's very uh, nice. Okay, let's uh, double check. Did this uh, automatically Brought, give it to you? you, Draco? Yeah, he oh. learned. Did not. He's let's, figured uh... it out. Look, when you have dark vision, you can see more treasure. It's great. Oh, don't tell him that. Hey, you got to get him to keep using it, otherwise you're gonna get covered in acid again. But yeah. he he doesn't just scoop up treasure and then keep walking like you do. He like hey. stares at it. I love how I'm not the problematic one anymore when it comes to treasure. <laughs> I love this. I don't care about well, gold. You both My character are now. is getting <laughs> slightly redeemed. I care nothing for gold. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's how it starts, dude. That's how it starts. It's the last eight he hours. Likes shiny rock. Yeah. yeah it's the last eight yeah. hours. Uh, but okay, you now have dark vision, and it should apply. Let's uh, verify here. Let's look at your token. Uh, vision, uh, dark vision. This here. Okay, you've got dark vision now. Absolutely nothing has changed on my end. Yeah, no, it shouldn't. I mean, generally. Uh, so, I guess since <laughs> I can't really tell anything, I might as well go in. Uh, okay, yeah, another wooden door. Um, it has a, a, a knob to it, but uh, as you reach towards it, uh, it doesn't seem to be locked. And uh, like you just like slowly like turn it, it doesn't seem to be locked. It looks like it could open. Open it. Okay. You open oh, it. that's bad. You open it. Uh, in this room, uh, bags of uh, dried food, uh, dried food goods kind of lay here. Uh, but yes, in the center, like right here, there is like a, a bag that has just been opened up. And uh, there are uh, rats that are uh, eating out of it. Um, there's three that you see. Okay. And, uh, so, yes, you opening up the door startles them, and they look up towards you. What would you like to do? Can I close the door? Yeah. 
<laughs> Draco just walks over to everyone else. Doors what closed. Happened? But I would say uh as you as you do that, you think back to the footprints um does match rats. Uh, just match oh your, your idea of rats and therefore uh, you think that they could probably squeeze out if they were hostile and wanted to eat you but you know who knows oh. but go uh, go ahead friends I closed the door to give my give myself a second to call everyone else over friends uh there are vermin in here <laughs> okay I'll come deal there with that. are a Anything number of oversized of rats. <laughs> Okay, are you dealing with rats? How big is oversized? Rodents of unusual size? I'm not the ROWSs again. I have seen at least three of them, and they appear to be surrounding a bag of some sort, possibly filled with gold. That'll get Moira going. Let's go. I open that open that door. Let's let's pause. Fetch boy! Real quickly, uh, Salix, you were investigating this body. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, roll an investigation for me, please? I suppose I can. Investigation. 16. Okay, so uh, you are going to uh, find on this body, there is a scimitar. Uh, Seems Mm -hmm. rather uh, okay condition. Uh, mm. usable for sure, not rusted, not broken, no nicks on it. Uh, but it just seems like kind of meh in general. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know it's from your sword, perspective, but... but in general, <laughs> a general perspective. Um, uh, but as you're kind of digging around and looking into pockets and stuff, as that is a thing that you said you were going to do, uh, it has a note inside the breast pocket. Hmm. Is, is it in a language that I can read? And if so, can I read it? <laughs> I think you would recognize it. It's not necessarily in any particular language at all. It's uh, three sets of what appear to be shapes. But uh, thinking about it uh, resembles sh- uh, sigils. Three sets of sigils, probably from uh, teleportation circles. Hmm... I would uh, gauge that you had uh, some kind of visual um, on the sigils that were around the teleportation circle that you were in uh, when you had entered in here. Uh, And you see that. You do not recognize the other one. There's a third one that you do not recognize. But the second one, can I get a history check from you? History. <laughs> no, no, idea. no idea. No idea. <laughs> so, uh, yes, one one was wow. the the sigil in the uh, in the other room down down here. the The other one definitely looks kind of familiar, but you're not you can't quite place it. Third one for mm-hmm. sure, you don't. You have no idea. Uh, but you would also know that it, it uh, this uh, this uh, humanoid uh, looks human, maybe maybe elf. Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, wearing a ring of some kind, and uh, inside the same pocket as the note is a key. The key looks very ornate, but you know, as far as what it what it does, what it controls, you're not you're not sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Does the ring seem to be in any way special, or is it just kind of uh, whatever ring? Uh, it's silver. It has a uh, a tealish gem inlaid into it. Okay. Uh, whether or not it's special, it's hard hard to tell from the vantage point. Like you're just kind of like pilfering. Like you're just kind of like going through and seeing what's there and taking mm-hmm, a quick mm-hmm. look at it and going to the next item but yeah i would say like there's there's definitely a uniqueness to it sure sure i i would like to i i would like to take the ring at least for now okay uh and at that point everyone is kind of rushing down the hall uh draco had had said 
There's vermin. Vermin. <laughs> I will I will tuck the stuff in my in my pockets, give one last look over the body, mumble a uh, a phrase of uh, repose in giant and then join them over here. Except I can't. Yes, you, for sh some you, should, you should be able to. Oh, I can't. OK, good, good. <laughs> uh, very good. OK, so you guys are uh, standing at this door. Uh, Draco, you had seen vermin. Okay, now that everyone is here, I open the door and I see the vermin that I can yes. see. I'm uh, going to be smart about this and say, friends, stay out of the room for a moment. I'm going to kill them all. I just brought oh, you here so to show like you. you. Why did you call us over here? <laughs> for backup. He seems awfully cocky now. I think he's become a teenager too quickly. <laughs> what? I don't understand why you called us over here. Well, if he's gonna... Up, because if this fails, we will be swarmed. <laughs> Moira I'm... just kind of like looks at him and looks at everyone else and then I'm just gonna walk to the left. To the left, to the left. Okay. Uh, okay, so right yes, uh, I would say everyone just visually that can see within this room, which would be Draco, Salix, and Mora as you were he over here. Mm -hmm. Uh, you see just like some, some bags, uh, some crates that, that, that are in this room. But yes, there are, uh, large, large rats, large size rats in here that are eating the food. But as soon as you open the door, they are like, they pause and they look over. Uh, Draco, you said you're going to kill everything in here. Go ahead. What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> I am going to cast Shatter. So within a ten block, a ten foot radius of wherever I place Oops, this. Sorry. Yes. A, yes. Uh, well, real. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I wanted to do. Kind yes, of, but... that's perfect. That's perfect. Because, yeah, I would say as soon as you enter, you would see two more rats on the, over on the right side. Uh, they've got to make uh, constitution saving throws. Of a DC 14. Uh, so oh, far, my. One, two, three, four, five. I buy rats. All fail. All fail. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your damage. I buy rats. <laughs> A 13! <laughs> bye bye rats. 13 damage each. Salix is just going to applause or applaud. <laughs> <laughs> Salix just whip. That's how you clap. <laughs> Let's pull some some Jacques the Whipper. Mm -hmm. Uh wow. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect and you wife. see all you see like the reverberation of of shatter just like rifle through this room just impact like every every square inch as it ripples and you see all of these rats at least the ones that you can see uh fall fall down beautiful friends i have gained the title exterminator <laughs> <laughs> uh as you enter into this room yeah all the all rats are are dead from what you can see um i, I would say basic concept of this room is you're kind of like scanning through food storage area probably uh there's some crates uh some bags but uh, looking at the bags that have been ripped open the crates that have been like gnawed through uh, yeah, it's just like grain and other f other foods, rice, that that sort of thing that's been that's on that's on the ground here. Okay. Uh, it seems I... like a, f a food storage area, maybe, probably. Okay. Can I search the room for anything that could be of use? Anything that would explain anything about the area or what that what's going on here? I I would say it might. Uh, overall, uh, you spend some, some time in this room, you would gauge, uh, you would confirm this is a food storage area. It doesn't seem like there's anything else in here. You know, there's no weapons or anything. It's just, it seems to be food. So probably, uh, whoever was down here, 
uh, was using this to just store their food. Uh, obviously not good enough because the rats got in. Uh, but considering there's dead bodies, you'd be aware of uh, dead bodies from uh, visual. From being able to see the one, but probably Swamp probably walked out saying there's two more in here. Um, yeah, it's likely that uh, whoever was living here is probably dead but nothing useful in here unless you you want to take some food with you but it's been open it's been tampered with who knows quality Got you're a robot pooping. who needs food that's true rat poop <laughs> rat poop okay well if that's the case then i just say I'm just turning back to everyone, say vermin controlled, and I don't think there's anything else in here. Shall we Maybe continue? We'll applaud again. So confused by this entire thing. What entire thing? Agreed. <laughs> hey, also, so, don't so, go! Don't go in right? this room. This room smells bad. Don't go. I'm already in here because I want to take a look at them myself. Well, uh, dra drag your drag your thing, hit space bar, and then move it a different direction before you let go. I was hoping to see if these guys looked like other adventure guild people. Or if maybe they were just a group of looters, and if I would think rats killed them, or if it looks like something else was here that killed them. All right. Well, just just to confirm, it oh is uh, it is ten thirty. Uh, how much how much longer is acceptable? When do we want to kind of cut off? I'm fine for whenever everyone else is ready to. I can definitely still go top of the hour. Going further than that might be a little a little much. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm good. I, yeah, this, I'm fine. This, this freaking burial mound is taking us so long. I'm also it's looking for long. keys. I'm also <laughs> looking for keys. Mm -hmm. There is a yes. lot going on. Yes. Yes, there is. Um. Uh, okay. So real quick, there is, uh, you guys are moving out uh, around a, uh, a lot. So I would just say, uh, first of all, Mora. Mm. Or do these look like red knives? But I know. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, uh, I would say uh, there is... Uh, something obvious to you, and that is the bodies mm -hmm. themselves definitely took some damage based on placement, based on, uh, well, actually, everybody roll me a perception. Let's, let's start there. Was it rat damage? <laughs> Aye, I'll take that. I go here, where is it? Oh, you finally... Whoa, we'll not be perceiving. Finally, <laughs> she woke up, you, you, and that person finally got out the, of you. You walked oh, into the room yeah. with the stinking dead bodies. It really cleared out the sinuses, and yeah. Uh, and now you're now you're. I really got I got over out. the acid damage finally. <laughs> uh okay. Um, all right, some things that you guys would learn based on uh, current locations. So first of all, Salix, that door is locked. Mm -hmm. yeah. Doesn't uh, happen to match the key that I have, does it? <laughs> well, uh, uh, would you try it? I, I, sure, yeah, might as well. Worst that happens is it... I mean, I guess the worst that happens is bad things, but worst that happens is it doesn't work. True. Uh, it does not. It does not seem to match. It does not seem to match. Um, 
Mora in this, uh, in this, well, hold on. So we got a uh, 18, we got eight, 22, and a 21. So that's uh, pretty good on average. We'll say you guys spend uh, about 20 minutes in this general spot, kind of looking looking around at everything. Uh, some more uh, inside uh, the general, like generally speaking, they look like commoners. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely garb similar to what you've seen sold in Sedan. Okay. Guts have been like ripped out uh, from rats probably. Like based on the footprints that you see and all that sort of thing, mm -hmm. uh, but there's definitely some other damage that you're seeing to the bodies, uh, swelling around the eyes, blood around the eyes, uh, blood from from the ears. It seems, uh, but the 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 rats seem to go towards like like mid sections, uh, so probable internal damage. And no keys. <laughs> Uh, nothing obvious like well, that can't, um... or like if I kind I don't want to like go deep searching but if I roll. looked around the body a bit we've, we've got plenty of time to do whatever you want to yeah. do but let's go uh, let's say uh, just roll me a d20 a flat d20 13. You get the sense um, just based on the uh, eyes, ears, internal damage, it seems. Um, there is magic that does target internal organs. Mm -hmm. Psychic. Definitely towards the head. Looking at the eyes, they definitely do look bloodshot. Whatever uh, attacked it probable psychic damage here so it probably got rats came after uh, is what i'm getting timing wise yes they died probably prior to the rats mm -hmm. um one still does carry a backpack uh, as you <gasps> kind of search ar around it um uh there there is some there is some uh there is some coinage there uh, but they're they both carry rapiers so one rapier piece uh they both have uh manacles a set of manacles on them hey i'll how heavy are they because i'd love to take that on all i have uh probably a pound I, 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 i'd assume and then the rapiers well that i'm not sure okay i can look through the thing while you talk to other people yeah um the coinage uh, because we're kind of spending some time kind of looking around, I would say you mm -hmm. would know that there is uh, 200 silver pieces and 30 gold. Cool, cool, cool. I'll r I wrote that down. I'll look at the weight real quick and then, yeah, I'll just chill in here while I do that. Sounds good. Uh, Swamp, as you enter into this area, uh, uh, again, it's um, it's kind of odd. There's uh, dirt and sand that is covering the floor. Uh, the doors into this room, uh, obvious, broken through uh, from inside. Not not on the side that you're on, but on the other side. Nope. Uh, but in the ceiling, there is a hole. There's a uh, appears to be a block and tackle uh, above hanging and um, it uh, unfortunately has been broken so uh, the rope is lying on the floor here uh... so the ceiling above you you've got about 15 feet and then you've got the hole which is about five seven foot wide uh, radius and then above that is probably another like 30 40 feet Uh -huh. <laughs> um, you've got uh, rooms on either side and those rooms uh, seem mostly empty there's, there's a lot of booted footprints around this area uh, there's some rubble on either side but uh, there's also uh, frescoes frescoes kind of drawn on the walls uh, on either side here, either side uh, on uh, down here, 
uh, as well as this uh, this front part. And um, the, the frescoes seem to be just kind of like burial processions, maybe. There's so much going on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Boy, that's a lot to think about. The frescoes seem old. Yeah. So it's likely this was a burial tomb of some kind, but has been shifted in uh, usage. So... The fact that there's like 40 to 30 feet of vertical, like, upward shaft means that there's like a second floor to this thing i would think there's no reason to to lift and lower things unless there's stuff up there based on context of your arrival down to this level um i would think that uh you're, you're sure there's probably another mound right above you and so this leads to another another mound. Um, was the uh, Salix? Mm -hmm. Did you discuss anything that you found? Did you say out loud what you had found? I I was going to, and then the uh, the whole thing with the rats came up. Yes. Um, <laughs> what would you have <laughs> control? I yes, I I would have mentioned that I found a. I, I would I would have pulled out the the paper to show and to see if Swamp, Swamp or, or some of the others who had been here more frequently would would I recognize do perhaps Ar Arcana check on that more of the uh okay. more of the doohickeys uh well uh, generally speaking we could just assume that everyone's kind of together discussing what they they have seen mm -hmm. uh but i will say uh Swamp looking at the key you are aware that there was one particular mound that did have uh placement for a key but you didn't have one but there were there were definitely symbols that would suggest a key would an unfinished would so it could be leading to that it's hard to tell where you're standing like where you actually are in that mound area uh, but it's possible that it, it's it's associated mm -hmm. Uh, anyone else looking at uh, those sigils? I would uh, love to. That um, Salix had found. You would know. Actually, if Draco's looking at it, I'll I'll go double back to the uh, double door. Again, I would imagine you guys are all kind of collective, like, yeah, looking yeah. at stuff and just kind of discussing what what you had found. Yeah. Uh, there is one teleportation circle. Uh, or I'm sorry, one group of sigils that matches the teleportation circle in the other room just beside you. There's two that Salix didn't recognize, but one of them, the rest of you would. And that mm. is Sedan's teleportation oh. circle. In the mm. lighthouse? In the lighthouse, yes. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. The third one, though, no idea. Doesn't the third one doesn't match the original one we came through? Mm -mm. No, it's different. Mm. Oh, this this thing has the three different symbols, so it can go to three different places. It's just paper. It's, yeah, it's just paper. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. just written oh. down what the sigils are. Same thing you guys do as you report in. You yeah, they were probably investigating something. Yeah, I misunderstood that. I thought it was something else. Mm -hmm. My bad. Teleportation rock. No. Yeah. I don't know. They were just looking it up, basically. Well, b before we head down this very obvious uh, and scary looking tunnel to that door down there, there was the double door back there by the bones and broken chains that didn't sound like anything was in it, and it was unlocked. If you want to just go with through there, see if there's anything. <laughs> Maybe more crystals for Drake. <laughs> and I, I did have a question regarding mm -hmm. the locked door. Mm -hmm. Um... In my uh, in my character sheet, it says that I have tool proficiency with thieves' tools. Oh, 
Well, then, but yes. I don't, Excuse I don't me. see them anywhere in, like, my inventory or You anything. have to buy them. Yeah, yes, no, uh, uh, so my, my ruling is if you have uh, tool proficiency, then you then you have the tools. So oh. I have I have herbalism kit, thieves tools, and tinkerers tools. Yes. Look at you. I don't remember why, but I do. Well, yes, I, I don't know why you would have thieves tools. Uh, who knows? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I have the same position, <laughs> and I don't have the tools either. Yes, uh, that is default, but I uh, I don't like that. So we're we're, yeah. we're changing it up. Yeah, you have you have the you have the tools. If you've got a proficiency for it, unless there's something that occurs that destroys them, we'll just assume that you have them. Cool, cool. I have thieves' tools twice now. Uh, yes, that was probably an accident by me. <laughs> also, does anyone want to carry one of these manacles I found? They're a little heavy. No? Um, cool. Sure. Sure, uh, okay. I can. I give I'll throw you manacles. Have- Bex is made of strong. I mean, a swamp yeah, is made is. of strong. She is. Uh, Both true. Yes. So manacles Correct. are six six pounds a piece. <laughs> yep. Um. So yep. swamp, if you want to take a hold of one of those manacles, I will go ahead and. I've just been buying them and then refunding my money because <laughs> I found them. Oh, uh, you can use the import. Just just a straight oh, import. Oh, you can. Shop. Oh, that makes or, sense. Or uh, when you're when you're in the shop. In the equipment shop, you could uh, let me verify. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess you can't do it from there. So yes, but there is a, there is an import function that uh, does give you access to uh, items. Got it. I don't know if anyone likes swords, but I got a, a rapier here. <laughs> uh, Swamp, you have manacles now. Yay! Thank you. I figured that'd be good if we ever need a if we find the person doing this and we want to tried to keep them alive mm. uh, uh, let me uh let me let me say this as well like let's let's assume you guys have spent 20 minutes here is that safe mm-hmm. is that a safe assumption yeah. probably okay at least <laughs> so some possible theories that you would uh you would get uh, in this room, to the south, there was a lot of clothing. A lot of, like, rotten and old clothing. Obviously, we've got the uh, the random uh, bone uh, arm, the leg piece that's here. We've got the chains uh, attached to something. We've got all these broken bones. We've got uh, obvious uh, bludgeoning damage done, uh, but more you would also get uh, um, mm-hmm. psychic. Yeah. So I think I think something that's making these undead attack these guys as well before the rats got to them. And they're definitely using people from Sedan. Like those two guys looked like the the people we were sent out to find. That the camels, the camels owner, right? Yeah. Uh, camels owner. Last owner. Not camels owner, as as I heard it. Um, <laughs> the camels' previous dead owners. <laughs> um. So. Uh, so some things. At least two of you would recognize. And that is Mora and Svab, size-wise, based on what you have read in the reports. Uh, there is a type of creature that is large and does do psychic damage. And you've witnessed it in Jacket Grove. Um, one it was of, a very it is a very long time ago but mm-hmm. one of the creatures uh, much larger than the others that you were battling with uh, was hiding on a roof and kind of came over and it was a uh, different, different quality to it it was, different. It was, uh, it was damaged uh, but it did do psychic damage that time but it is large 
uh, reddish skin. Didn't have uh, almost like it just like it didn't have skin. It just had like muscles and tendons and stuff. And you'd be aware through the uh, reports that you got that um, another one exists or has been sighted at least in Whitmore. It's possible that that's what could have been in the uh, in the other room, wrapped, manacled. But yeah, it could it could have been the. Could have been the cadaver collector as well. Friend Swamp, friend Moira, you appear distressed. Mm. What is bothering you? Uh, uh, hmm. Not entirely sure how to word this one, bud. You see, I would recommend using common to word it. <laughs> nah, I'm a speaking giant. No, just it kidding. might be easier to speak in verbal. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if it's close to giant, I can understand. <laughs> Moira's just gonna take a, a little squat and just rub her head and temples, thinking, like, what the hell. Yeah, it's a bigger problem than we thought. Story of our life. <laughs> what is the problem? <laughs> Moira? <laughs> Leader Swamp, would eating a mushroom help you? <laughs> I, I don't want to eat these mushrooms. They're kind of, um, acidic. <laughs> <laughs> the psychic damage isn't like that, that old guy in the cave. No, it goes farther. I'm going to totally be honest, out of character. I'm not getting what you're referencing. I'm... It's been is so this, long. This is one of those things where it has been a long time. It's been a really long time. And literally, yeah. I'm, I feel it, but I can't fully yep. remember it. Okay. Yep. Um. So again, uh, based on uh, reports that you have seen, what uh, appeared out of Whitmore, there was one creature that was uh, protecting the the, the meteor. Uh, large red. Uh, didn't seem to have skin. It was just muscles and tendon, but it was rather large. Dead psychic damage. You had uh, faced one of these things, but it seemed to either be younger or damaged in some capacity. But it, it appeared over a roof, um, and it was one of the uh, star grew star star sprung. Uh, I forget what the term is, uh, but the grew that. Um, is this back when we fought with the hippos? Uh, you fought alongside the hippos, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was... A while ago. A, a really long time ago. I mean, ago. if yeah. we're talking Nine real game. time, it was two two years ago. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That That's why my brain is reaching. But I would, would I would say that, uh, yeah, you guys would be aware that there 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 is a creature that you're aware that it hits very hard, but also does psychic damage that is large. So it could it could be related. There's there's two other rooms that you guys haven't entered into. Um, but I I, I would think that that yeah. just based on the fact that it has recently appeared, per your. Uh, Why notes? would it be doing this? I was about to say this. Th Why undead necromancy stuff doesn't feel like it, it would work with that connected to meteorite space hippo things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how in space the world? Things. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the best way to describe it. Things. Yeah. I... What is it called? A star. It's star like Lord. an alien. 
basically yeah. space boats. And mm -hmm. we've seen they've they've had reports in the papers about shapeshifters mm -hmm. with these meteors and stuff. And uh, to clarify, but, the papers are your uh, adventure adventures guild yeah. uh, internal notes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With other people who've dealt with them too, but like. Why this, with this? This doesn't. This shouldn't be connected to that, unless someone's using it. Why is could there it be an tamed? Tamed in quotations. Everything. Why could it be tamed? Oh my God! Oh. What is that? Oh. This is the thing that you guys uh, fall Wait. in Wait. Jagged Grove. Oh, my, I think I just uh, a star spawn hawk. Draco is leaking oil. <laughs> So uh, again, there are, there, are, there are two rooms that you haven't investigated, and plus another hallway. Yeah. Um, okay, so that, we'll that's, say, oh, wait, it wasn't real. That was no, the it, wasn't, tag. it wasn't real. Okay. Uh, but we'll say, but I was just bringing the token, hopefully to okay. uh, recover some memory, but maybe not. It did, yeah. I would it say did. up so. up to the north, uh, within those twenty minutes, you guys would uh, would have been able to walk up there and investigate uh just empty rooms uh three three empty rooms there's a sarcophagus there but uh have been pilfered bodies have mm -hmm. been taken out of it sounds about right Where, with the rest of it you can't jump scare us like that <laughs> i'm that sorry was the worst scare i had in a while <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, that was horrifying <laughs> I was all ready to try to just drag my character up the hallway and be like, nope, I'm out of here. I was that's, like, well, goodbye, Draco. That's, that's the only creature that you guys have uh, fought against or at least are aware of that does both <laughs> both those types oh. of attacks that would have killed these people. Killed these people, though, but not yes. necessarily made the undead. So again, mm -hmm. something yes. controlling that or at least using it as a guard dog you've got you've got two th things here i think that would yeah. be happening one like that's the that's the only thing that's that large that would have done this type of damage but then you've got the other piece of it which is the undead uh the necromantic side uh mm -hmm. but then investigating some of that you do have crystals suggest that whatever was helping or controlling Val uh, struck yeah. again in some fashion. Maybe Val was here. Before. Well, now I'm super ner Okay, well, dear God. <laughs> Um, now I don't want to go anywhere except leave, but I really want the keys to that room. Unless Salix wants to try to yeah, open yeah, that I, door. I was going to say, I can try to pick that. Okay. But I also wanted to go back in that I, first door that I listened to that we never went through. Yeah. Can I either roll it or I can grab a lock off my shelf and pick that for real if you'd like? Well, wow. again, it it's a <laughs> matter of how much longer you guys want to spend in here doing this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you want to, like, pick it until you open it, however long I, that takes then... i definitely want to see what's in there yes yeah, okay. <laughs> and then same for the stuff that's in the south mm -hmm. the south room yeah mm -hmm. i think it'd be nice to have closure on this burial mound so yeah we can move on and maybe not forget it ever existed because I, oh, had some, to forget. I had some awesome moments uh ending battles <laughs> with my whip yeah yes. you whipper uh, okay. Uh, well, let's uh, let's split the party here. Who is going to the south? Who's going to the north with Sailor? I'll go south. I want to make your life really difficult, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> per you usual. Uh, I want to go and get climb up that um, shaft where the, the the vertical shaft and see where that leads. Okay. How do you want to go about that? Because the rope was. Uh, awesome. on the ground. It was, uh, yeah, it was, it was cut. Wild shape. Okay. You want to climb up there as what? Mm -hmm. Giant spider. Okay. Yep. All right. That sounds good. Uh, Salix, you're going to try to open up this door. Mora, you're heading to, uh, over here to this, mm -hmm. this room. Uh, Draco, what are you doing? I'm just on standby for whoever needs help right here. 
Okay. He's gonna listen for the screams. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whoever screams first gets Draco's help. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we'll start with Mora. Mora, you're gonna be able to enter into this room. The doors are not locked. Mm -hmm. And uh, go ahead and roll. Just a flat to twenty. Okay. Okay. Fifteen on that. Mm -hmm. uh, this appears to be uh, quarters of some kind. There's uh, four beds yeah. that are laid about. There's like a little foot okay. locker uh, in the middle of of uh, yep. each side. New shoes. Uh, definitely workers' quarters. Definitely uh, places that people slept. Um, on one of the beds, actually, in in the footlocker uh, that is left open, uh, you're gonna see a note, as well as a quiver, fifteen arrows inside, some hempen rope as well uh but there is there's a note just kind of like folded mm -hmm. and laying at the bottom interesting is it more simple or can i actually read it <laughs> no you can read it it says uh to val Whoa. uh once it quiets down Uh, we'll pick things back up Thank until you. then and make yourself at home. Avoid the beast if possible. We've got plans for him, but that's for another time. The others are here to protect you and bring you specimen. Down the hall, you can set up a workroom. This ring will help you travel. Get the sigils from Jackie. I'll follow up as soon as our next steps. And at the oh. end end of the note there are two things one is uh writing can't quite make out uh but then it's uh signed slash k mm, okay as soon as i'm done looking in here i would run back to tell everyone what i found and show them the note okay while that is occurring salix uh yes you were able to open up this door you walk in seems like a bit of a workroom uh you've got a writing desk you've got uh bookshelves uh, on the left and north wall uh you've got some crates here cool cool um i i think i would start with the this stuff and kind of working my way around the room clockwise bookshelves are after. completely empty except for one book okay and it is a gem cutter's guide mm. um the cover that you so as you as you open it up to kind of look at what it is yeah you see it's a gem cutter's guide but inside the cover uh it's inscribed the name kara gobblefin of hovistad Gobblefin. Gobblefin. Burn. Not not Finn. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> I did not type that message. I did not either. Me neither. Oh, you know what? I do know where that's coming from. Where that? I thought. I thought. It was my, I thought. Uh, I this thing was possessed. We've been hacked. Help! Help! I'm possessed. Uh, I do. I do know what that's about. But uh, uh, the uh, giant uh, monster has a, has taken her over. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Looking uh throughout the rest of the room, there is uh. Oops. Didn't mean to click you. Um, the crates appear to be like a mixture of clothes, building supplies. Looks like there's enough supplies to build, like maybe another table, from what you can see. 
Uh, but Here's on the uh, the writing table itself up to the uh, northwest, yes. Uh, there is a journal. Ooh. Uh, in the journal the is a uh, small drawing of a large humanoid figure. <laughs> I like that. Small drawing of a large humanoid figure. Uh, it does uh, seem to resemble... Uh, what Mora and Swamp had described to what they saw in Jav Jagged Grove. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and yeah, the notes are basically scribbled in and just like, uh, seems not to want to be here. I've been told to avoid it, but I don't understand why it's, why it's here. Interesting. Uh, the rest of the journal seems to be mostly about, um, like it, it just has like, uh, mostly a count, like two, uh, two specimen were brought in, uh, hearts were, were taken out, provided. And that's it. It's just like maybe like three sheets. Three sheets mm -hmm. have been written and the rest have been pretty much empty. Cool, cool. Swamp, as you climb up uh to the north, uh you, you yeah, you, you 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 climb up through and you see a uh circular room, sandstone. Uh, definitely looks very dusty. There is a block and tackle, so just like a little, uh, uh, almost like a triangle kind of set up uh, to easily like bring people up and down from the hole. Mm, okay. Um, and uh, to the back of the room, you would see that there's a there's a door. Uh, to, I would say like the north, the north side. There's like a door. Uh, seems to be locked from what you can see. Uh, but definitely feels like you're on the surface, like you're in the other mountains, kind of like level. Okay. Uh, but as you get up close to the door, you, uh, would notice that the door is, uh, slightly ajar. Ooh. Um, I would like to stealthily peek through the, the crack and maybe open it slightly so I can see more. Yeah. And on the other side of the door, there's a lush jungle. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, as you, uh, as you open it up, um, and there, there was like a little bit of like stairs kind of like leading to it. Uh, but yeah, as you open it up, uh, you see the desert. Huh. You're okay. definitely back on the surface and there's nothing in view besides desert. All right. I will go back down to help the others and I'm still big spider when I go back down. So. Here come obnoxious spider. Uh, Mora, there was one other uh footlocker in this room. Yeah. It was closed. Do you want to try to open it? Sure. I can't really pick lock, but I have a hammer and a dagger and a pickaxe. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I have um, a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, it's locked, but you're able to break it. Uh, it's hammer time. Uh, to seemingly brand new dungeoneers packs so what pit pitons crowbars hammers torches rope oh god i can't carry this but i'll take it and give uh, a smoke. there's also four daggers and a rapier and uh two potions of healing and a small pouch that contains 50 silver pieces holy hold on that 
engineer's pack, you said two, four daggers, a rapier, two health potions, and then 50 silver. Just picturing Moira I, with like a Santa's. I just come bag out of this of hall. Death. I come out of this room and I look down the hallway. I go, "Hey, who wants this stuff? I can't carry this. <laughs> Please." <laughs> I'm. Well, I'm sure I it. have. I'm sure I have some some room. I was about to say, I have saddlebags. Give Please. me some of these things. Anyone take all of that, but I'll keep the gold because I'm counting how much I found and we're going to split it. I do believe it was I, silver, but you know. I'll go yeah. ahead and take a Dungeoneering pack and a health potion. Go for it. I definitely don't need daggers. I have like three. <laughs> I really don't have a use for them either. Unless you want to, we just sell them when we get back to Sedan. We can. I just can't carry them. Just, just put them in my stuff in my saddle bags. I, I do that. We settle. We'll sell them when we get back. I'm giving one of those potions to to Swamp though. Someone can yes. have the other. <laughs> I'll take the other. <laughs> okay. I haven't taken a single hit. This I know. Entire time, but I'll I'll take the other because. Wait, can incredible. I snack Salix real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. He said that out loud. I got a, I got a, a love tap on the head. Work. One damage. I know, right? That's what I'm <laughs> We're like, there, now you're a true adventurer. Just, just watch. Beard will have you roll. You'll crit roll and oh, he'll knock no. me out in one go. <laughs> Full Stalus. damage. Full damage. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yes, uh, there are, After there I'm are some. After I'm done at Draco about that. Yeah, so there, there are some things to pick up here. But I think, yeah, the general gist is there seems to be two different, uh, well, three different uh, things happening here. One is uh, Val. And the other is Whatever was controlling it. Monster. Seems to be here in some capacity. Now, you do remember when you guys had arrived, something had just recently used a teleportation circle. Mm -hmm. It's also been a day after that, so it's hard to tell when they would have left. And well, these, these dead bodies, they look older than a day old? They do look older than a day old. So possibly mm -hmm. whatever had come through the teleportation circle, I either had just left or had come through and it was still in here when you... Or I was assuming call. Val ran. If they were working with Val per the, the note saying that they'd helped them get the bodies. And I assume Jackie's the one down there who had the note with the sigils. I would think the monster found them, jumped them, and Val ran through the teleportation. No well, the bodies the have been dead somewhere. for at least a ten day, uh, mm -hmm. from 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 what you guys were able to tell before. So yes, a uh, creature able to escape, destroyed things, uh, killed some people. Val ran. Uh, yeah. But something was here within the last day, based on what you saw before. But was that Val? Was it something else? Was it still here when you were here last? And had we had no any idea. other undead attacks in Sedund? Like the one we had a couple weeks ago? No. Mm -mm. Okay, so that checks out with Val leaving. So then, hopefully this alien's not going to do more undead. So we're, we're, sure we're all in agreement that that thing is currently just wandering the desert out right now, right? Or teleporting, because he can teleport. He's smart. Either or, it is somewhere with easy access to where we are. And the Sedan Lighthouse. Yeah. It could That's literally... Good. And if it's a shapeshifter like the Adventure Guild reports, then yeah, it could be anywhere in Sedan. Well, this isn't a good thing. Uh -uh. That's why uh, Swamp and I were a little freaked. Mm -hmm. This unit suggests Swamp, are you here? Have a health potion. Going. I agree right with now? That. Have a health potion. I'm a spider. Turn back now. <laughs> get her, get her, get her. Wiggle <laughs> a, a big spider leg nubbin at you, like wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Skitter, skitter. Not health potion or not? Skitter, skitter. <laughs> Less than helpful, skitter, skitter. 
Oh god, I don't know what she's <laughs> saying anymore, guys. I can't. Spider spomp. Skitter, skitter. We requ- we need to go back and warn the people of Sedun about shapeshifters and that the undead are probably done for now. And that a giant one has can very likely grew up Sedun and is probably hiding in their mist. Mm-hmm. I crawl down from the ceiling and turn back into a furbolg. I immediately throw the potion of healing at you. Better catch it. Ah, 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 okay. <laughs> Fine, y'all are boring. <laughs> Not, what do you mean boring? It's fun being a spider. I'm over encumbered. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Give me I have stuff. You, you are right, but that's what I'm trying to give stuff away. Okay, okay. What's the heaviest thing you have? Um. Uh, Her past. <laughs> yes, I'm not accurate. Wow. Accurate. I'm you not... barely know me, Salix. You <laughs> barely not... know me. I'm not taking on her past. I refuse. Do you want to? Do you want a rapier? If we can sell it later, it's like two pounds. Sure. That, oh, if the heaviest one. thing you have is two pounds, then I don't know. Well, the heaviest thing I got is a two person tent. You want to carry this 20 pound <laughs> tent? <laughs> sure. Or am I, yeah. no, actually, I need that tent. Um, that, might I mean, a, that might be a one person tent. That might be well. that might be helpful yeah, when I skip tent. I mean, what? Do you want a miner's pick? Sure. Okay, that have a miner's pick. <laughs> I'll yes. keep the hammer. <laughs> could, could Salix poke his head into the other rooms that have not been seen yet just just that brief little completionist exploration thing the loot goblin i appreciate I we did and did and don't i love that <laughs> <laughs> we are one unit <laughs> we are one we're all riding on salix's wheels <laughs> What All was, right. just to I refresh my notes, what was the Kara gobble fern again? Uh, that was a note, uh, it was inscribed, uh, it was just written inside of the cover of the, the book that was in, uh, the main room. And it wasn't Kara with a K. Everyone so. line up. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Wild. Does anyone use a bow? Because I got 15 arrows. No. Uh, I have a crossbow, no. so I need bolts, not bows. I mean, no, not arrows. I'm not good with a bow. I don't the think I know an archer, archer at all. I, I, the only archer I can think of might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's true. Yes, I'll hold on to the arrows until I meet an archer one day. Uh, Salix, is that acceptable to you, what I just did? Mostly, I, I, the the uh, the the bit on the left, I still haven't quite gotten everything in there. But otherwise, yes. You talking about you talking about this room? Um, oh, oh, uh, over over here. Oh, left, the other left. Yeah, yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, your other your other left. You know. <laughs> okay, cool. That that's good. I I figured it would just be empty, but yeah. I'm one of those annoying completionists. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but okay, uh, yeah, generally speaking, this is where we can end, but yeah, I think, uh, overall, there has been a quiet, quietness to the undead attacks. Um, you found the source, you think. They have seen have to a lot have to tell, uh, disappeared, yeah. The Adventurer's Guild, yeah. Yeah, we have yeah. a lot to report. Also, I think I'd like a nap. <laughs> Leader Swamp did take one or two hits. Mm-hmm. A nap might be in order. Also, just connecting space hippos with necromancy just hurts my brain. Uh, Not connecting. It just space, happens. Yes, they just happen after. to be there. The, the... To be fair, space hippo helps save Sudan from the undead. Uh, so yeah. how, is this, how is that a hippo? It's it's all connected, sort of. Drag, well, no, the space growth. hippo. And they were allies. <laughs> they were allies. They were the space hippos were allies against the weird red thing, but that all connects in my brain. Uh, Yo, I'm, re- I'm finally remembering more of that space hippo thing. <laughs> Look, can we go? We just need to get back to Sedan and tell Guildmaster I have, I have Arava. The thing, I have the I have the teleport stone thing. We can go. We go. Let's go tell the, the Guildmaster Arava what everything's going on. Goodbye, Rock. 
or Gil Captain, whatever her whatever her title is. Captain, yes. Oh. Um, uh, one other piece of uh, information here, uh, just because uh, Salix, you have one other item that you've held on to, and um, uh, during the next downtime, you would have figured out what it does as far as you oh, cool. you getting to Sedund. You holding on to this ring seemed unique. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it is a ring of teleportation. What? Is that at will, you can teleport as long as you know the sigils. As long as you are aware of the location you want to go to. Oh, that's cool. Time to memorize some runes, bud. <laughs> Moira wants Did to I... sleight of hand steal that, if only she was good at sleight of hand. I shall just rip the pages that have been used out of the journal that I stole from presumably Val, and uh, it is now my my coordinates journal. Mwahaha. Huh. <laughs> By the way, anyone want a hemp rope? I can't carry ten more pounds of this. Yeah, get it. <laughs> Listen, you klepto. I, they're dead. These were bad guys. How is that a klepto? You're <laughs> they're being dead has nothing learn, to do with learn your to sell things. Stop and hoarding. <laughs> I'm not I literally just picked it up. <laughs> they're being dead has nothing to do with your insatiable need to take everything. And 50 feet of hemp rope has nothing to do with selling. It's going to be worth like two two silver, maybe. Wow, two whole silver. Exactly. I'm not selling that. Someone take this 10 pounds of rope. Ugh. Is, is Watch, that one... one day that rope is going to save your life and you're going to think about Moira. Is that one if unit of rope? sell it for two silver, it will not save my life. It I'm not. I'm gone. giving it to you. Here, and I throw it at her. Oh, I'm going to give this to my camel. Oh, that'd be nice. You Maybe it'll save your camel. They'll eat it, and then it will be nothing. Well, see, I fed your camel. No. <laughs> okay. Um... Weird. <laughs> Moira's just really iry, I and looking at Salix with that teleportation ring, like, mm. <laughs> uh, Salix, you, uh, I've just dragged over the ring of teleportation to you. Yes, indeed. I was, I was just looking at it. Yeah, I also have the the rock that can teleport us to the lighthouse. So, right, to, that is uh, let's standard, go. Standard uh, but let's okay, that's where, that's where we can end. Uh, no with that, everyone in uh, live chat, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, you can go to agentsofbeard.com for more information. And the link to our Discord channel is in the description. That's it. That's where we'll leave it. Cool. Thanks for watching. Yes, yeah, later. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Bye. Bye now. Bye-bye. I'm just noticing that Salix has common clothes and